Hello and welcome to another episode of SDS Premier League Roundup is back here as usual every single week. We are uploading a day early today. That is because there's no Monday Night Football this week. So we thought, why not just film on a Sunday and upload on a Monday? If you guys like that, let us know. Or if you guys want to continue with the Tuesday uploads, let us know as well. But uh, we have got a, a good cast today. So I'm going to introduce the cast first before we get into some of the big, big games that, went over the, that happened over the weekend. As you can see next to me, a man who's not usually here next to me. But he's usually on the podcast quite a lot recently as well. He's been on quite a lot. Yeah, so he's been promoted cats. to the you know seat right next to me. Hey. <laughs> it's Fuad. Come here, come here. Well, no, no, no round of applause. Oh, come on, come on, lads. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. We don't like the rivals. We don't like the rivals. I'm trying to close my lid. I'm trying to close my lid. There's a delay. 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 The reason you're here next to me is because this is, we're calling this the winner's side of the table today. Because opposite us, we have two supporters of clubs that have lost this weekend. Mm-hmm. First of all, we've got Liban. Come Actually, on. wait. Right. I don't know what Cupid. Liban's going to keep us. I don't know if they won or lost. You, know, uh, <laughs> you might Kupi- have to double check. I didn't even check their results. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, don't, yeah. I don't really keep up with them too tough. But we've I got got yeah, that's my that's my local club though. Oh, QPR won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see, yeah. So <laughs> I'm on, I should be on that side then. I should be on that side then. <laughs> no, no, no. Stay on that side. Stay on that side. <laughs> <laughs> and next to Liban, we have for the first time ever his debut on SDS. It's Mr. Matisse. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. It's a pleasure. It's an honor. Welcome. It's a privilege. Welcome. The timing is crazy, though, Welcome. I must say. They did this on purpose, you know? Mm. You know, they did this on purpose. That's right, what they, they do. Full-time school. Kind. It didn't even blow you know, it. Brother. Like, well, you know why they didn't, didn't bring it last week, but they want to bring it this week. Come on, G. Luton, 3-0. Yeah, I was ready. Come on. Everything. So you're going to come park your chest on Luton? Please. This is a chat. We'll That's it. how it works. Yeah. Yeah. What were your first few appearances when Spurs were losing? Back Listen, back yeah. the game is the game. The game is the, the game. Pen. See how you swim. Mm, that's how that's we work. Yeah, that's how it works. But obviously, it's Premier League Roundup. We do cover every single game of the of game week. Um, but we're going to start at the hi- highlight fixture of the game. I think it's a hybrid for a second. I said, brother, that mm. was years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, so yeah. We're going to start at the highlight fixture of the game week. I literally just yeah. came back from the game now. Mm-hmm. Emirates Stadium. Let me set the scene. Emirates Stadium. In, for me, the biggest game of the mm-hmm. season for me. I, I tweeted before the game. I said, this the, is this the fixture I look forward to the most. Not, not you guys. When the fixture just comes mm. out, the first team I look for is Man United. When are we playing Man United? That's the first thing I look for. That is the timeline derby. The TL derby. Yeah. That is... The the, Twitter classic. That is, that is the biggest London derby. And you're asking why? Because most people I knew growing up in school, like Liban, are from London and Man United fans. Mm-hmm. So Actually, growing right. up in school, <laughs> it was Arsenal versus Man United everywhere. Mm-hmm. Stand up. Man United came, visited the Emirates. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that game, boys. Obviously, everyone knows the result. We won 3-1. But was it a 3-1 game? Was it justified? Let's talk, man. There's a, there's a bunch of controversial decisions, a couple of VAR decisions. We've got to talk about the man in question, Kai Havertz. We've got to talk about, you know, your boys, mm-hmm. Ten Hag. Mm-hmm. Diaz was on when you guys lost to Spurs. He said some things. I want to know what you think about that because obviously... We've got a couple United fans on this podcast, but they all think different things about mm. their club. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be an interesting one, guys. So please get your popcorn, you know, relax and enjoy this one. Liban, I want to mm-hmm. uh, open the floor with you. Yeah. Please. What do you want to say? The floor's um, so I want to first start on, I want to start on the game, innit? I think the game today, I feel like we were, you could say we were hard done by it. I think a bit, I think, I don't, like I said, I don't think the result is a true reflection on the actual game. I think my United done well today. I think the performance was good. I think structurally we, we played well. I think we did enough to contain Arsenal for majority of the game, especially in the second half. I think, I think to be fair, I think the VAR decisions across the board were all good. I think I don't have any issues. I think the goal was on, on technicality of the rule. The offside goal was offside. I think the, the Havertz penalty wasn't a penalty. But, if I haven't are, seen the replay of that. Uh, don't which show one? Replay yeah, no, don't show replay. Was it but, a dive? But, but, was but no, it, it, it was. It, it was. Dive, he, was it? he was falling before the contact was even made, yeah. and the contact was from him rather than Wamba So yeah. it wasn't a penalty. Like um, people try to compare it to the Rashford one last year. Shut. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. was not. It was not a penalty. Like on 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 at all. I don't think the also on the other end. I don't think looking back on the replay, if you are going by the rule book, Ganacho's goal offside. But if you actually look at the actual game, I think. Arsenal, there's a lot of question marks. I'll be oh. real. I think the first four, I've had them to win the title. And what, from what I've seen in the I first like four that, games. Because whenever whoever you have to win yeah, the right title it, doesn't it, win the title. Well, <laughs> well, it could, this could be the year or it might not be. I think I might, I might from looking at what I've seen already in the first four games, I already am thinking 
Mm. Undefeated. That might already be a bad call. Do you know what I mean? Huh? You're undefeated, undefeated yeah. but let's be real. I <laughs> no, think no, no, I agree with you. I, so I don't know if it's, it's not a great. Not I don't. Great start. Yeah, it's not. And I don't. I don't know if it's because teams have now found you guys out slightly, or if it's because this tinkering of the system that Arteta seems to be doing with bringing in Kai Havertz, having party play right, but party play right. But obviously today Ben White played there, but he got cooked. Let me just say that. Let me just play that on record. By who? But Rashford, Rashford cooked him today. Still, you think Rashford had a good game? Mm. I think Rashford had a good game today. I think Rashford was probably our biggest threat. I think he was our biggest threat on the pitch. Yeah, you can argue there was times where really? he made made bad decisions, but I'm talking about in terms of many being a threat. times. Really? Every, bad no, but every I time he like. had the ball, yeah, you got a sense that something could happen, and you saw that with the opening goal of the game. I think you saw it with a couple of chances in the second half. I think. I think. He could have done a lot better, but yeah. he still had. I still still think he had a good game. I think I he think had a pretty, qu- especially. I think he had a pretty quiet game until his goal. Yeah, I, literally. I, I, think, I, I, I think the whole team in general. I think the first opening twenty five minutes. I think you guys were more honest anyway. I think up until the goal. I think you guys were more honest. I think once we got our goal, I think towards the end of the second half again we looked structurally good, and then going to the second half. I think second half we were a better team. I'm not even gonna lie. I think my now were a better team. I think you what had your. You? I think you had your chances here and there, but I think. I think ultimately second half, I think United deserved to at least walk away with a point. I think personally. And if obviously you got the two goals right at the end. Again, I think that's a foul on Evans. The common common now. I United think that's a foul on Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 no, but it's, it, you know what this game reminds me? It reminds me similar to the game we had at Old Trafford last year where you guys played better than us, but we ended up taking the result. And mm. I think it's, it's, it's what's basically happened today. I think second half, I think we played better. I think not, not in terms of going forward, but just... Contain. We just. I didn't. I, when Arsenal had the ball, I didn't really feel like you guys were really coming at us like the, us, uh, the usual Arsenal. Like yeah. the Arsenal of last season, I didn't get that feeling. Listen, and I, I and, I, and I was saying as the game was going on, yeah. I was saying you're not going to get the goal. You're not going to. We did get the goal, but unfortunately, margins. It was, that's what it came down to today. Margins. I think little decisions here and there. I think the, I think it's a foul on Evans. By the way, I think Evans got impeded. Do you guys agree with that? Do you guys it's not basketball. My man got screened. He got screened like it was basketball. I don't I think know about that. I, I think it's it a gets, foul. It gets physical think, in boxes. Yeah, I think United <laughs> just shown themselves time and time again and defensively in set mm. pieces. You're a liability, and so yeah, many times I, I you can use excuses of yeah. screens or whatever. That happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a physical game. At I, the think, end of the I think you got to be strong. I think there's a difference. I think there's a difference between hustling. Did Evans come on because of Lindelof injury? By the way, no. I think he was booked. I think he was booked, and also I think he looked bit leggy towards the end and I think that's why he came off but, mad I, one but Evans, Evans and Maguire didn't do anything wrong yeah. let's be real no, they didn't, like, they they didn't do anything wrong they it's, didn't do anything wrong what did you and make of Hoyland his debut um, I mean it's it's one of them ones he got thrown into the deep end I think the, the, the foul that everyone keeps complaining about I don't think that's a foul in the box I think Gabriel, oh, the Gabriel. I think Gabriel got the better I think it was good I think it was good for Gabriel yeah, yeah. I, don't think, I don't think he got the better but I yeah. think from what he gets in the right positions though. I see there was a couple of times where Rashford had the ball on the wing and it looked like he, he physically, up, physically yeah. he's got that, yeah, yeah, got that yeah, physical presence. He, yep. he was when giving, he was giving, he was giving Gabriel a bit of a proper yeah. Yeah. couple Two of little moves, moves. moves where it was like, hey, big yeah. man, yeah. Yeah. I, I know, little yeah. blonde, yeah. 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 Because Martial, let's be yeah. honest, Martial in this game looked like he was trying to keep fit. Bro. Like he was leggy, he was looking like, you know, late 30s, you know, I'm trying to, get through this game and just get out. Did like, you see at one point yeah. in the second half when there was a counter-attack with him and Rashford on the left? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rashford gave it back to him and it was like, Hi. now break. Play break. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, He did like five yards and then just went, yo, I'm tapped. <laughs> yeah. No, but do you know what it is? Yeah, he's it's, just it's, physically, he seems yeah. like he's so done. Yeah, 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 or, or whether he's not yeah, yeah. just, obviously he's been out for a while. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. He ne- he's never up to match speed, yeah. it ever feels like, but yeah. he just was invisible. I thought when Hoyland came on, he actually gave you like, yeah. A, a pinning point. Yeah, 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 like yeah. You had guys you could run off him, play off him. I thought your biggest that's how set the goal, down today. That's how the goal came. Yeah, that's how I thought your biggest set down yeah, today yeah. was definitely the midfield. Yeah, I thought facts. Bruno once again mm-hmm. missing. Yeah, and it was as you said. I think it was kind of a game that was there to be taken for United yeah, in the yeah, second yeah. half. Bruno once again big game missing. Casemiro, this start of the season, it's been mm-hmm. kind of shaky. And this game is defensively there was moments where mm-hmm. it was all right, but then. Mm-hmm. Shaky on the ball yeah, again. Yeah, 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 I agree. And then next game it was um, Ericsson. I think Ericsson. 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 I think Ericsson. Ericsson. Here's the, the thing. Pitch. His pass. He had that yeah. moment. That and moment yeah. through yeah. ball yeah. in the pass. Yeah. But I can't lie to you. He's a ghost. No, but off I, the yeah. ball, okay. bro. I, saw, like, I, I, okay, I hear this one yeah a lot. But today, I think today this game specifically, I think defensively it was definitely one of his better games. Yeah. Mm. I think usually yeah he he does get called out for being or basically uh, invisible in the middle. But today though. He Especially just, when also had possession of the ball. I feel like he positions them a lot well, quite a lot at yeah. times. And he uses brain more. He knows he can't run. So he he just kind of, like those, I think a couple of times when Odegaard had the ball and all he kept doing was shifting Odegaard 
that yeah. way that we're pushing mm. him away yeah. so that other man can go and grab him. But it was weird like, because was, Odegaard, even yeah. though he wasn't as like his typical dangerous, yeah. I still felt like he was making himself useful. And yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. I was looking on the other side. And I'm like, yo, yeah. captain yeah. to captain, yeah, 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 machine yeah. for machine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not stepping up. And, like, not. and it's like how many big games, yeah. how many moments where United have games like this yeah. and He'll, he'll score against, I don't know, yeah. Burnley you've got in two weeks mm-hmm. or whatever. And people are like, yo, Bruno, world class. But in games like this, you look at it and you're like, yeah. but, bro, where is he? Yeah, yeah, where, yeah, and I, I, and I, some yeah. of them other key players, you just yeah. look at it and you're just like, I don't think they delivered yeah. in this kind of moment. Just to go off that though, you see Bruno, yeah. Uh, and I agree today and him and Casemiro today were probably, I would say probably our poorest players on the pitch. Yeah. Definitely. Along with probably Martial. Martial was a bit more... Mm, Non-existent. It's, yeah, it was yeah. a bit like... But those two specifically, Bruno, because I think they didn't have great games. But you see Bruno, yeah? when Even when he's not having a game, he could pull off moments. And you see the moment for the goal, the, the pass that he puts through um, for Ganacho, he's mm. got those in his locker. So yeah. sometimes the best players, or the good players or the world-class players are the ones that, even when they're not having a game, mm. great game, one moment and they can, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? They, they can, can change, change it, the game. Yeah. And he had that moment. But unfortunately for him, that goal didn't count. So yeah. had that had that goal counted, you'll be talking about. You'll that, be. Do you know what I'm saying? But, but you so can't it's let like, that. GNA. Not, yeah, no, that's no, what I'm I, saying. I, I, I agree. I agree. Do. Perform, no, yeah. I agree. But you can't. Let agree. It no, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. And, and that's I the do. problem because yeah, yeah. I feel like Man United in the first half they had a they had a bit of the possession. Yeah. They didn't go anywhere with it. Mm-hmm. They didn't get to the final third. I remember there was a statistic that went out. It's like 78 passes, zero in the final third, and it was like you weren't really doing anything. And I feel like Anthony and Rashford. These guys on the flanks mm-hmm. today they were they were quiet. I know yeah, Rashford yeah. got his goal, but like you we were saying before he scored, I didn't see him. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see him. It, yeah. it didn't feel like Man United today when they had the ball. They had a clear plan. I saw yeah. them going to Onana a lot and then going long. Yeah. And Onana was back. your most creative passer at times. Yeah, you mm-hmm. like if one thing I give Onana, he's though. another positive mm-hmm. where game I would say is yeah. I think his ability to kill the Arsenal press yeah. at times. Mm-hmm. Arsenal were trying to press and he would just do this. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Just, but and it, it always yeah, yeah. looks After like he's four. about to get caught out, though. It yeah. always, always looks like we're about yeah. to get yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. slide in. Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> hey. near but misses. I, you know what is, I think Onana is what really threw off Arsenal today. I think usually when, when we have the hair and that, they know, yo, we, we can never do that. Yeah. <laughs> we can never do that. So it's kind of like we usually just hit it long. Mm. The hair will just hit that one long. But now, today it's kind of like also forward line. We're a bit confused. Should we press him? Is there any point in pressing this guy? Because every time we press him, we don't seem to get the ball. Or and do I, we just I, leave? I, I, I don't you, mind because I like playing as keepers like that. No, but I, yeah. we have two of the best like pressing forwards you in do. the league. Yeah. Jesus and Nketiah. They, yeah. They're very good at pressing yeah. in front. So we didn't catch him today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he will get caught at some point in the season. Now. No, no, I, 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 no, that's no, not that, like he's so, eight that's goals the, in four games. No, that's the mm. risk. No, no, but so listen, but how, are you happy right now? No, but that's the risk that comes with those type of goalkeepers. And I think more often... we see on Rams though. Yeah, more often or not though... It was, the, I mean, the positives outweigh the outweigh negatives. For yeah. sure, yeah. for sure. And Over a long, yeah. Long and run, I tell yeah. you, you saw Martinelli, Saka, uh, with Saka, we'll get onto it in, in, in a moment. Long, but Saka, Martinelli and Esquetio, especially throughout, throughout the majority of that game, they struggled to press United because they just felt like you got to a point where they were like, is there a point? Yeah. <laughs> is there literally, a point? Literally, so it yeah. kind of threw them off and that kind of threw off Arsenal because Arsenal are known for their high press and get winning the ball up high and, do you know what I mean? Playing that sort of champagne football mm. in that final third, but they, they struggled to do that today. And United being a press resistant team is something unheard of yeah. with the players like De Gea and Wan-Bissaki. Exactly. And you, wonder, you wonder what if... Hoyland was there from the start. Mm-hmm. He's got the short passes and everything, mm-hmm. but if he just had that outlet of, because Edison has it with Haaland, mm-hmm. where it's like, yep. all right, the short might not be, well, all right, big man, give long time, one. Give it, yeah. give it time, that could work. Yeah. Give it time. We, I said, yeah, I was yeah. saying when he, when Lies was doing the whole, hey, listen yeah. guys, I need a speech. We'll get onto uh, that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was saying, yo, when Hoyland comes back, mm, you probably you get just a better picture. On that one. <laughs> yeah, you just woke me up. Well, I was just thinking about you that, go on, say what you got to say. Because you know what is, yeah. We want to Arsenal at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so going off to what you said with Lies, think, okay, so he came on here two, three weeks ago talking about, oh, I rescind my prediction for my United third throughout the whole this run. <laughs> he, pred- he rescinded it third, but still said United are going to finish Champions League football. So what, what are you rescinding really and truly? <laughs> what, what are you really rescinding? I feel like, you see, I feel like people are a lot too harsh on Eric Ten Hag. I feel like first season coming in, having to deal with all the stuff that you have to deal with off the pitch. Mm. Bear in mind as well, he, he, this, this summer, for example, yeah, he's had to, they've told him, yo, if you want players, you have to get rid of players. Yeah. He can't get rid of the players. Yeah. He's had to deal with the head losses. He had to deal with the headache of Ronaldo, mm. the Maguire situation. This year, he's having to deal with the take whole takeover nonsense. They're telling him, yo, you want players, you got to go sell players to, to, to get to raise funds. The players that he's trying to get rid of are being selfish and don't like, want to leave. Like yeah. So yeah. it's kind of like, he's got all these ch- obstacles and all these challenges. And yet last season, yeah, he still managed to feel third with a team that I don't think is the third best in the league. Mm-hmm. Do you ye
And do you think that talent ID yeah. is... But is the right one because the mounts are not. This these is the are thing. With the talent outlays. ID, like, cause there's two things I feel like people hold against um, Ten Hag. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm. is this talent ID thing? or with Mount and Anthony, whatever. And then the second thing is, oh, this record away top nine. I think these are all nitpicks, in my opinion, because you look at Tottenham for example. Yeah, mm. this season, Pape Sa and and Busuma, you signed them both last summer. Mm-hmm. Last summer they both didn't even get. Last season they both didn't get sniff. Yeah, mm. this season they look unreal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the signing might not make sense then. There mm. and then, it might not make sense. A year from now, it might make sense. Mm. Yeah. So you got to give these things time. Yeah. I feel like with United, Elias is here and Abza here talking about our uh, identity. This, we need an identity. F- your identity, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting dude, the point? Listen, listen, hear, what, hear what I'm saying, yeah? Because we don't, you have to understand, look at our situation. Forget 10 years, oh, we haven't had a tr- this in 10 years. Teron Hogg hasn't been here for 10 years. So scrap this whole 10 years of uh, no success or whatever yeah. it is that you got in your mind. Scrap that because right now, Ten Hogg hasn't had 10 years. Mm. He's only had a year. So you got to judge him for what he's, with the situation is coming. Coming off the back of that Ragnick season where nobody had us top four. Yeah. We did a prediction last time. Nobody had us top four. Yet we finished third with a trophy. Give this guy time. Let him figure things out. What doesn't help him, which is also out of his control, is the fact that there's a lot of injuries right now. There's a lot of injuries. The injury in pileup is crazy. And it's crazy, and that's something that's out of his control. That's not something that he can. He 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 doesn't just. Yo, he's not he's not casting spells on players yeah. and saying, "Yo, you're gonna be out." You know what I mean? It's mm. like you gotta give this guy a chance. Let him build. This season though, yeah. is he? He's almost between a rock and a hard place. I've said because last he's season a lose, you lose finished situation. third. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. in a lose, you lose situation. Third and you got a cup. So yeah. anything beneath below that, that yeah. or below that is kind of seen as regression. But then yeah. this is my this is my issue with Lias and Avzia. Yeah, it's like. You're saying in your predictions that you think Man United will get Champions League football next season. Mm. So every time you Man United lose, are you gonna throw a tantrum, throw your tro- toys at the pram, <laughs> and they start crying because we lost the game? What do yeah. you think? This like, do you think we're gonna be undefeated throughout the whole season? Yeah, there's gonna be hiccups. There's yeah. gonna be times where we're not gonna be playing well. There'll be times where we're playing well, like last season. There'll be times where we we put in good performances, and there'll be times where we put in bad performances. Mm. For me, the reason why I say the identity thing is because I oh I know he hasn't got the facilities and the minerals to get the, 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 the style of football that he wants to play. And he's already seen that early on the season. Again, yeah. like he did last year, he tried to do the football thing. He realised it's not working. Let me scrap this. I'm only here for the results. And that's that's exactly what we're Do you think for. he's building to the football? Or do he, you think he's I sticking think he's, with the I, results? I think, he's, I think he's sticking for the results for now until mm. he can get the players or at least have the players available to him. Like uh, this week, we didn't have Amber back. I'm a, when Amrabat comes in, you're going to see a different midfield. You're going to see a different. Okay. You're mm. going to see a different. What, 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 what's the ideal midfield? If you, I think it will be Casemiro, Amrabat, and then Bruno. I think that's the ideal. So Mount, Mount sitting out. One. Mount has to sit out. Sorry, <laughs> if you look at the way we play today, do you yeah. see Mount in that team? Do you see Anthony Where in that team? You? I don't see Anthony in that team. That's either. two signings though on and the bench. I, and I agree. And I agree. Mm. But like I said, Give it might time. not make sense now. Yeah. It might make sense further down the line. So it's kind of like, do you know what I mean? So you got Lias and I call him Lias now. I call him Liash, yeah, and I call him wow. and ask Busquets. Because <laughs> what they both be doing? Because what they both be doing? Because all they both be doing is shaking their bum bums for for the for the rival fans to, to impress rival fans. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> talking about I'm rescinding my third place. Uh, what are you rescinding? I love really? the Man United civil uh, war we have on this game. But speaking of Ten Hag, it makes sense to me. Ten Hag, Ten Hag said after the game that Sancho wasn't involved because yeah. of performances mm. in training. Sancho's done. Ooh. Sancho just put out a statement, by the way. Yeah. Oh, that I'm going to read out right yeah. now. He put it out on Twitter. Yeah. He says, please don't believe everything you read. I will not allow people saying things that is completely untrue. I've conducted myself in training very well this week. I believe there are reasons for this matter that I won't go into. I've been a scapegoat for a long time, which isn't fair. All I want to do is play football with a smile on my face and contribute to my team. I respect all decisions that are made by the coaching staff. I play with fantastic players and grateful to do so, which I know every week is a challenge. I will continue to fight for this badge no matter what. So you just put mm. a statement up. Uh, yeah, I think his time at Maynard is done. I'd be so real. I think, um, I don't like I said, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I think there's probably more to the story. Um, but Sacho hasn't been looking good for a l- little while now. Um, he got sent to the mountains, did his little Goku Cha- hyper chamber <laughs> thing, whatever it is, hyperbolic chamber thing, and came back and he's still the same. But does it show that? Yeah, he's still the same. So it's like, does it show that yeah. your club's in disarray right now? Because everyone's saying now after the statement, they're saying, but he was playing. In, he was playing in preseason. He was playing in preseason. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, I don't know what the context. But of Ten Hag said something, say, and Sancho's now yeah. come out and said something as well. So yeah. there's a civil war going inside your club right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, I, I did. The window just closed. After the windows just closed. No, but but this is my thing. This is what I'm trying to say to you. This is what some of the stuff that Ten Hag has to deal with internally and that's that's just on the pitch there's also shit that's going on off the pitch 
You, you got Glazers right now talking about we're taking the Man United off the market. You're hearing those type of rumors mm. now talking about oh we want Ten Hag to win the Champions League or the Premier League so that like, it boosts the value of the club up. Yeah. You see what yeah he's having to deal with. So it's like mm. he's having to deal with that nonsense off the pitch. He's got to deal with the nonsense on the pitch. And then all the other adversities that's going around around the club. So it's reminds like, me of a certain I, I'm Arsene saying Wenger it's and no one's listening to his struggles. It's a reminds me of Arsene Wenger times. No one's listening to his struggles and he's still performing. No, but no, Arsene no, Wenger no, is it, different. It kinda, it, oh, we had struggles. Say, we had oh, struggles. Oh, struggles. Oh, we had that's a guy that's been was in, in charge for 15 years. Yeah, by the way. and we started a lot of things he had to overcome. We started. He started a lot of things he had to overcome. 15 years, 20 years, 25 years. He's the best players leaving every season. No, no, I'll tell. I'm saying. I'm saying every club's got issues like that. Yeah, But I want a slight transition over to Arsenal because there's a big talking point. From Arsenal, uh, and he goes by the name of Kai Havertz right now. Yeah, mm. um, he might change his name. Maybe, maybe that'll help. It's like Emmy Martinez Shy. when he changed his name Shy. became better. He was Damian Martinez and became Emmy Martinez, and now he's a World Cup winner. Mm-hmm. So maybe Kai has to do that. But I'm gonna own up. I'm gonna say it. I tweeted something before the game, just as the game started. I don't know if you guys mm-hmm. saw I'm it. I saw your tweet. I saw your tweet. Glad you brought it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he didn't wait for you. He didn't wait for you to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if, if I didn't bring it up, then someone's gonna bring it up. But I said today is the day Kai Havertz proves his doubt was wrong. And I think today he made even worse for himself. Mm-hmm. For sure. You apologized as well. Huh? You apologized. And I apologized. <laughs> as soon as he got subbed off, I apologized. <laughs> but part of me obviously feels very bad for the man, mm-hmm. honestly. And a part of me also is like, not blaming him, but it's like, why is he starting every game? Why is he being thrown into the deep end? What is going mm. on? Because, okay, it's clear to see right now he's like, a deer in headlights, you know? Mm-hmm. He's he's on the pitch and it's like, maybe because he's the tallest man on the pitch, but he sticks out like a sore thumb, you know? Mm. I'm, it's hard for me to not look at him when, when we're involved in the play. The positions he's taken up is not obviously the positions he's used to taking up. If you go all the way back now to Leverkusen in his best days, he was playing behind a striker, mm-hmm. right? Unfortunately, that position is rare nowadays in football, Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. It's usually now two eights. Mm-hmm. You know, it's two eights in the DM. Mm-hmm. So that position is gone. He went to Chelsea and he was... Not great at Chelsea because he was playing as a striker. Mm -hmm. So he can't play as a striker, right? That's not his position. Mm -hmm. Right now, he can't play as an eight. Mm. And his best position doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. exist. Yeah. So he's in the place right now. He's in the place right now where he has to adapt. He has to get Mm -hmm. used to this whole new role. And Mm -hmm. football is a tough sport. And especially in the midfield, in the eight, you've got to be playing it your whole life almost. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't just be thrown into there because you're a good footballer. Some positions you can, Mm. but not in that eight. So it takes a while. So, but he's having to learn on the job in the biggest, like on the biggest stage mm. for the club, which has won the most scrutiny every single time you play. Yep. It's tough, mm-hmm. but it's not his job. He's not going to, if the, if the gaffer says you're playing here today, he's not going to say, no, don't play me. He yeah. has to do what he's been told. Mm. So is it the gaffer's fault? Is, should, mm. he be, should he be starting? But then at the same time, we don't have, if he doesn't start, the only other option we have is Fabio Vieira, which I think is, been very very good so far. In moments, Bro, when is no, he no. going to get a shot? No, no, he's been very good so far. Impact last week, but that's what Bro. I'm saying. Unbelievable impact, and even today he was very good. But what I'm saying is, when I look at Fabio Vieira, I still don't see a ready-made starter just yet. Same thing with Kai Havertz. So it's one of them ones where it's like, cool, Fabio Vieira isn't a guarantee. Like, I don't see him as ready-made starter right now. Kai Havertz can't do it because I'm mm. watching him on the pitch right now, and not just is he taking up positions where I can see it looks awkward. He's even I, I'm seeing him pick up the ball from Ramsdale. I'm like, so oh, what we do there? So if you're seeing all that, what what makes you? What is going to make Fabio Vieira a ready-made star? I feel like you have to give him a run but of games in order to Yeah, no, I'm happy for him to get a run of games. He's, I, I he's think been here a year and every time he, he plays or has come on as a sub in the Europa League last year, I remember those moments. I'm like, uh, bro, this guy's got technical ability. When he was at Porto, he was balling he out. Oh, yeah. But since he's come, he just hasn't been given a chance. And I'm mm. sorry, this guy has been shoehorned into the side, I feel like, Kai Havertz. Yeah. And, the thing is, I think is, it's unfair on him to be fair. I, I don't he's not, no, think he's it's not doing, No, no, he's not I'm doing not, well. I'm, I'm not backing him. I'm not backing his performances. When you're, when you're, but I'm just saying, also at the same time, I, I agree, don't start every single game in midfield in a position I don't know. I think he should get but, come on off the bench. But for me, he's start a, Champions League games. He'll do well in Europe group games as but well. The, the thing is, you know, you're going to be playing in yeah. that position regularly, though. It's Don't. the same thing I was saying of Rashford a couple of weeks ago. I was like, Rashford, we, United fans always make this excuse when he has a stinker in the nine. Oh, he plays better on the left. Nah, bro. If you know you're going to be playing in that position frequently, make yourself best useful in that position. He knew when Arteta signed him. Yes, I'm going they to would be have had that conversation. Eight, yes, I'm going yes, to be yes, playing yes. maybe sometimes yeah. nine. Guess what? You've got to learn how to make yourself useful. Use mm-hmm. your body better. Bro, he's just getting the basics wrong at the minute. No, and no, I don't I blame him. I, I fully agree. I think that part of it is confidence as well. Hundred, I but think that's most you of You can't kind of absolve him of accountability or anything like that. Because um, I think for him, he's been here three years now. And the lack of growth I've seen within his game, mm. it's the same thing as Jaden Sancho. Mm-hmm. Him and Havertz were third and fourth 
along with Felix, right Golden under Boys. Mbappe yeah, yeah, yeah. and Haaland. Yeah. And everyone was like, yo, these five, they're going to save crop. the next generation yeah. of mm-hmm. football. Mm-hmm. Bro, there's been no development between any of them. And they mm-hmm. can put out all the statements they want. They have to take <laughs> account. I want to hear from someone who knows bro. him pretty well, obviously. He just came from your club. But do you know what it is, yeah? It's, he's in the sunken place. He's I literally agree. in the sunken place. That oh. was such a confusing signing because even though we're talking about him playing behind the striker in the 10, if you look at him and his game, he would rather show onto his left foot. So you're thinking, okay, the Odegaard position. Same with um, Vieira, the Odegaard position. Cutting on your left foot, playing that pass across to Martinelli or taking them shots. Yeah. How are you going to do that from the left channel? And it, for me, it just doesn't make any sense because you look at him as a player today in particular. He was the only Arsenal player that, as I could say, you're not involved. You're not involved off the ball with your duels. He, didn't, he wasn't winning duels. He, wasn't, he didn't attempt any dribbles. Nothing on ground duels. One aerial. Mm. I'm like, you're not doing anything off the ball yeah. and you're not doing anything on, on the ball. ball yeah. And, and then exactly that chance I mean, that yeah. fell to him, that is just an indictment that, that, of that, where that, he... Epitomised <laughs> everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right in front of that me is well. exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. why when that money came in, I went straight to the bank and we cashed that check. And you checked your account and it wasn't no, there. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> returns. <laughs> so why is he checking his account? No receipts. <laughs> brother, nothing. You got shares of the club. <laughs> More than you can believe. <laughs> I said, listen, you lot don't ever come back to this club and think yeah. that we can do any sort of, you know, transaction again with this player. Mm. I was like, wow, I can't believe this. And even when you look at replacing Xhaka's profile defensively as well, he, he gives you a lot more, a lot more balance in the midfield to give you someone next to Rice. Today, Rice was on his own. That's why I was so impressed with him because I mm-hmm, said, off bro. the ball, you are literally by yourself. Odegaard, we know, is a playmaker. He works hard. Havertz, he's just in limbo. And, and that shot for me was just, I, don't I, know. I, I, you, I could you, see it from a mile think, away. Do you think Rice had a good game? I think, I think he had a steady game and I think he was very important today. Mm-hmm. But, I don't think he was one of his better games today. Yeah, no, no. I don't, but it's some games mm. like this kind of game. And mm-hmm. he said, obviously, he felt mm. yeah. like he was alone most of the time. I also think part of what Arteta was trying with the putting Arteta at fullback was also to accommodate him to party, help. Party fullback. Uh, yeah. What did I say? Did I say? Yeah, Arteta, he said Arteta at fullback. Arteta, yeah, Arteta yeah, was the crazy. Yeah. Uh, playing party at fullback mm. is also to help Havertz. Because I think, obviously, you see, he starts at fullback party. The second the whistle goes, he's in midfield. In midfield, yeah. Party and Rice. Odegaard and then Havertz can push just uh, further behind the striker. Mm-hmm. I think that was also a part of why yeah. he was playing an extra midfielder in defence. So Havertz can play in that position that doesn't exist anymore because it is made to exist when Partey pushes into midfield so the extra midfielder that Havertz can go and leave. It, listen, end of the day, we got the result today. Mm. It's not, like I always say, especially on, this, on, on the podcast, I say I'm performance over results because mm. eventually it will even out. Catches up. You know, it yeah. catches up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's only so long you can have okay performances, get a last mm-hmm. minute winner. We did that last season, Villa, mm-hmm. Bournemouth. Yeah. And then it caught up with us mm-hmm. against West Ham and, and Southampton and mm-hmm. Liverpool Perfect. three games in a row. Where we couldn't we couldn't get those last mm-hmm. minute winners. So I always said I'm always performance over, over results. Of course, I'm over the moon with the result. You got yeah. in the moment, you got to take it. We've got the three points. Mm-hmm. We take it and run. When that settles down, it hasn't yet because I'm over <laughs> me. We beat United 3-1. Mm-hmm. When that settles down, then we've got to look at things and be like, okay, cool. Where is the problem? What is going on? What can we do? Because this isn't, if you play like this, we're not going to, we can't, we're not going to compete. You're letting, you could, you're letting goals too easy. Mm. We're conceding yeah. goals too easy. easily. Way too easy. It's, we're not scoring enough. It's yeah. better, but at home, especially like we're not as good at home as we are away. And I was the same mm. last season and nothing's changed now going into mm. this season. So there's a lot of things we need, we need to I think they're only positive. Go on, sorry, bro. I was just about to say on, on this, just on final on this position with Smith, with Smith Rowe, surely if you're going to be at Arsenal long-term, you look at that Havertz position, you think to yourself, I can take that. Because I think we kind mm. of all agree that if you take Havertz out, maybe slowly integrate him and not put him under this kind of pressure in a position that doesn't really look right, it's yeah. a square peg in a round hole. Mm. But I'm thinking, who can go in there? Smith Rowe. He's Listen, almost you were like given a the forgotten 10, man, isn't it? Forgotten man. You contribute with goals. You contribute with the fluidity and the, the, the play of the team. Mm-hmm. You, you're smooth with it. It's not like as if he looks like he's out of place, at least before the injuries. That's a player where I'm looking at. Listen, yeah. you could you could be moved on in terms of Arsenal yeah. keeping at this pace of where they're trying mm. to elevate. If you don't step up this season and take a position that for me, that is the only position in the Arsenal team that is like very easy to they take. They should right be now. eyeing it up. Mm. He should Smith be eyeing it Vieira, up. He should trust hard himself yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm. These players should all be eyeing that position up. 100 percent We haven't signed anyone in that position outside of Havertz, who mm. isn't a player that should play in that position. Yeah. I feel like that. So mm. and the window's closed. They should be eyeing that and say, I that want that position. midfield is probably the reason why you lot look so different to last year, though, I think. And as you said, that shoehorning of habits, I just feel like Ben White going back to right back, I feel like Saka's missing that kind of support on that side, if you like. Sure. I think, I think today, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we forgot to mention Dalo as well on your side. I thought yeah. he was arguably your both, best both, player. Both fullbacks. Yeah. I think Aaron Wambasaka and Dalo, he, I think they both had yeah. unreal games. I think Saka they both did well in, to yeah. contain Martinelli. Yeah, and let's Samuel. talk about yeah. Saka because... 
I don't think he's had the best start to the season just no, yet. No. Uh, obviously, first game of the season scored a beauty, a worldie. Yeah. But last couple of games, both games at home, Fulham, and obviously now against United, he just not looked like the second week. He's know. starting to be mm-hmm. figured out. I don't know if it's been figured out. I don't know if it's dip or form. I don't. I don't, I don't know what it is yet. You know, sometimes you can't of two games. You got it's maybe yeah, yeah. you got to look at it like okay, two or three more games. Now you got some okay. patterns. Yeah, yeah, you got some team patterns. Sometimes it's just okay. It's a couple of games. It happens. Off. You're not gonna mm-hmm. unless you're Messi or Ronaldo. You're not gonna mm. be the best player on the pitch every single mm-hmm. game. Or Hazard maybe. I thought this was the debating, time. No, but but those kind of players, yeah. But this <sighs> seemed like the type of game though. We it just like set up for him. Yeah. Him and Rashford were almost went toe to toe last year. I think both of them were on the outside. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe that kind of helped. But also that. Yeah, yeah, I was going to yeah, say yeah. that so, having yeah. a right foot and left back yeah. Yeah. Saka cuts in a lot that's easier because he's coming into Dalot's strong side mm-hmm. yeah but then that's where Ben White on the overlap has to be but listen but he's scared yeah, of Rashford behind him yeah. I feel like people cancel yeah, each other yeah, this, this is the thing it was, yeah. it was, it was, a, tactical, it was a tactical it was tactical but also if you know the guy's a left footed I mean if you know he's right footed right you go on the outside I've seen Saka do that enough times but he's mm. gone on the outside mm-hmm. he didn't do that enough and I don't know what it was what the reason was for that I don't know it was a lack of confidence I don't know what it was but he, yeah, would, he tried to go on the inside so many times and it failed yeah. so many times. At some point, you got to be like... It was so weird as well because I felt like, as you said, Saka, Martinelli, the midfield was kind of disjointed as mm. well. But walking away from that, the way the kind of game ended, yeah. you lot will be kind of ecstatic, I guess, because mm. not having played your best, but mm. then you still kind of... It wasn't just the one dagger as well. It was the, the fact the that second. your dagger gets cancelled out. <laughs> you <laughs> you have one... And then the second one, I just feel like it was just the icing on the uh, cake. Mm. Let me feeling. sit down your best player. Mm. And then, oh, no, I didn't I'm even see that, you know. Yeah. Head was, it was, is it? Yeah. My head was gone. My hair's looking like I got struck yeah. by yeah. Yeah. Like Declan Rice. And what a way to score your well. first goal for Arsenal. Declan Rice is also on the winning goal. Mm. In the yeah. last minute against Man United. Yeah, but like, you mm. see the passion. But listen, it's like you said, it's getting results when we're not playing the best, you know. Because then also, like, City do that. It takes them a while to kick into that second gear. And they get it, but mm. we're doing a good job. We just need to get those things right. I'll tell you, you're doing a good job. Okay. <laughs> Estamos at the end of when the back off. <laughs> okay. No, no, doing a good I, job. I, 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 but what I was going to yeah. say, one sec, do you know what Arteta said about, yeah. about um, Havertz as well? Mm. He said uh, today in an interview, he said, I said to Havertz, things are hard at the beginning. When I met my wife at the beginning, it was hard to conquer her. It was hard. <laughs> I had to try and message her and go and go. At the end, she says, yes, we could be together. It's mm. beautiful. Like, he conquered so, he's, so he's gonna just <laughs> he's just gonna squeeze the sponge and say, "You keep DMing. Uh, You're gonna no, keep playing. I'm not surprised. I'm gonna keep playing. No, but I'm not surprised. You see uh, um, when Havers came off, <laughs> yeah, and he got the he got that hug from. Uh, yeah, oh, he has to do that. Yeah, you know what I mean. He he he, he, he has he, to in his mind. But this this is my thing though. He also this, has to, it has to though? work for him. He's so persistent. Remember? He's so persistent that he yeah. has to yes. work. That, yes. I think that might be you lost your downfall. Yes. This season. What's the ego? The ego. This, show, ego. this yes. is going to be my video. Yes. This is the live show. And yeah. yeah. you're right. Because you know what is? Also, yeah, you don't, don't fix something that's not broken, right? Mm. Last season, there was like, I hate that No. <laughs> hey. By the way, guys. <laughs> have a, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. No, no, no. My, my, I, I'm a man who loves quotes. Yeah. My least favorite quote, not football, just in life, is don't fix something that ain't broken. That is the worst. It never it leads to it's improvement not. because, because no. you're, you don't you not you don't want any improvement. No, just no, because no, no, something no, no, works. No, no, no. Doesn't that mean you can't improve it? it. Can't improve it's it. something no, that's getting you results. You it. No, it's so not something. No, it's not Pep Guardiola. How many years? No, things ain't broken. He wins the league. No, changes every year. No, no, no. Okay, okay. But that was not Havertz was not. I don't feel like Havertz wasn't improved. Listen, listen. There's there's a difference between improving it. And changing something, yeah. it's a difference. You've changed right the now. Team. It's changed. You've changed it's only it. three. You haven't improved it. You've changed We're it. Four games in, so right yeah. now it's changed. Yeah. After twenty games, it can look like an improvement. It How can it something could, no, improve? No, no, but I'm saying no, no. I agree. Yeah, I agree perfect. with you. You, you need to give yeah, it time. No, that. listen, Sharks. I agree with exactly. you. So you need need to, so to, so exactly. So we need. So exactly. So if we kept everything the same, yeah. it would then also be nearly perfect this year. No, you needed to improve it. I don't exactly. I, 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 don't, I, think, I don't. But, but did you improvement was, starts from change. It was the same so right now it's changed and it will come improvement. But the problem, the problem is, is that this is a player that has been underperforming in this very league with this very physicality, mm. with this very same issues with attributes. Yeah, what yeah, are you? Facts, are you an elite facts. finisher? No. Are you an elite passer? No. Are you an elite dribbler? No. Mm. Can you even head the ball to a good level when the cross is coming? No. So with Arsenal sitting in second mm. and you are at the top, the pinnacle of where you've been for the last couple of years, you could have gone out and got any player out there. And the fact and that you came to us to get chose. that guy, 
for that position, for me, is no, because crazy. Also, not, I've, I've, oh, come on. also, we also got Declan Rice during Timber as well. Yeah, I, which, yeah, yeah those, those were great. Yeah. Saliba going down is what people are put, putting down our loss of this, the league too. Mm. Now we got during Timber, which unfortunately no one can predict the injury. That's yeah, that's out of like control. But that's just yeah. bringing yeah. him in has changed our, but would have changed our defense massively. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We also brought in Declan Rice as one of the best midfielders. No, in but the when you look at your world. transfer window, though, yeah. So you, let's, let's look no. at your transfer window. You you brought in Timber, you brought in Rice, you brought in Raya, and you brought in Havertz. Yeah. Obviously, Timber's situation, that's not Arsenal's fault. Yeah. That's, that's nothing you can do, but injury happens. You guys couldn't predict to that. Cool. Out of those three, which one do you say obviously improves? You say Rice, right? Rice improves Ray. the team. Timber improves our team. Ryan improves no, our team. No, Timber improves your team, but he's not available. Mm. So let's just let's just leave that one out for now, yeah? And then you got Havertz and then Raya. Raya's the second choice. Yeah, he improves mm. the squad. Yeah? yeah. Mm? No, he, he gives you depth, but he's he, at the so moment- the squad improved. He gives yeah, you depth. Yeah, yeah. He gives you depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah. he improves but the bench. Havertz mm. and Rice, only Rice really, 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 truly transforms transforms down. that team. Yeah. Havertz, it's almost like that girl saying, yo, I want to be with that guy because I see potential. I can yeah. change him. I could change him. And yes. the thing is, is that's, yes. what he, that's, that's what he's doing. The, the mm. And sometimes some guys, they don't want to change. Yeah. They don't want to be changed. <laughs> yo, he doesn't want to be always a team. Leave him alone. He don't want to change. He don't want to change. He's for the streets. Yeah. <laughs> Leave him alone. Leave him. Germany. Yeah. You, made a good, you made a good point. What? Yeah. 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, yeah. you made a really good point. And yeah. I was like, wow, I'll leave unspitted. Yeah, go on. And you spoke again, about yeah. Saar and Basuma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, you yeah. said they were signed last yeah, season yeah. and yeah, now they're performing yeah, this true, season. And you true. said sometimes it takes some time. Yeah. And you said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, when I heard that, I was like, I want to see what he says about Havertz. Yeah. Spin the block. Spin the block. It's the same thing. I haven't said that. No, no, no. About the United no, no, but I, okay, but <laughs> no, no, but listen, the Shaq, no, we you can, no, you're player. right yeah. to use that against me. No, you're right to use that against me. But there's a difference in those ones and the Havertz ones. Because Havertz, you're basically, essentially, like you said, you you basically changed your system for one man. Whereas with with Mount and with with with, uh, with Basuma, with Pappas, they're not really changing the team. Really and truly, they're not yeah. changing the team. And it's a whole new system. Havertz, have. he's coming in and I feel like he's, He's sort of um, taking you guys backwards. I can't. I'm it struggling. It looks like that now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. But it might not be. What can you, okay. four games in? Sometimes I just think football's just becoming silly now. Yeah. Yes, I agree. He shouldn't start anymore. Yeah. I'm mm. saying that. I'm not. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that's he's my thing. Great. I think. He I agree start. with that. I'm not but saying what that. I don't can't agree with. Bench, I don't agree with. Is everyone ruling him out and saying he's ruining the team? He's making the team worse after four games. That's insane, man. That's absolutely so insane. So far, though. I think it's mm. so yeah, far. So far, which is why I say he shouldn't be starting right now. Mm. I agree. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. So we're honest, okay, we are, I can agree with yeah, so yeah. you. My thing is, his role might have to be different. It might have to be a super sub. Mm. It might have to be confident. That's bench. what I said. And yeah. he can start in the Champions yeah. League and, and get some confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, uh, the guy I can tell is confidence right yeah. now. Obviously, yeah. his ability is a question as well right now. Mm. But confidence, I think, also, once you have that confidence, it brings back your ability. Because obviously, he's got ability. This guy was one of the highest rated youngsters in the world at one point. He was. But. Confidence he can get by coming off the bench and having good um, cameos. Confidence he can get he can get by starting the Champions League group games against the PSVs yeah, yeah, and the yeah. Lans, you know, mm. and 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 bossing. Hopefully, bossing those games doing really well, mm. and the fans getting behind his back. It, that's when the confidence can come, and mm. then he can work his way back into the starting lineup and start doing well in the Premier League. Mm. But this isn't going to boost his confidence right now. No, you know, I, it's not. It feels like there's an overload of left-footed right half space players that really all want to be on that side and the captain sits there and yeah. he, he ain't yeah, moving. He's not so moving it's, it's a strange one. It's a bit of a, a little bit of an overload for yeah. me. Mm. But, yeah, but, we'll but, but yeah, let's let's move on anyways. We got the win, 3-1 win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Three points against United. Yeah. I'll take that every day of the week. Like uh, I can say at the start. Bro, this is the game I look forward I would, to. I will shamelessly take it as well. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's not and, I, and I did it last season as well. We took it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now this is even better, bro. 95 yeah. minutes in, it was 1 1. No, <laughs> at one point, you guys were 2 1 up with yeah, five minutes to go. go. I didn't yeah. know the first goal went in. My head was hot from the second goal. I didn't see the third goal. I thought people were going to say that's football, though, man. Sometimes you don't get what you deserve. and I feel like United is at least a point today. I would have said yeah, a, a at least a point. A uh, at least a point today. But like you know I say, you don't always get what you deserve, yeah. and every every team's gonna experience that mm. at some point in the yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, let's move on now to uh, Stamford Bridge. Mm -hmm. Probably the worst stadium in the Premier League. <laughs> Compared, comparable to like the, the club size. Clubs, club size to, so to stadium. Oh, Stamford Bridge is the worst the stadium. The worst. Oh, you, you know, bro, from Stamford. when you have to squeeze out. Oh. Oh. What, you don't, you, the turnstile, yeah, where you have to squeeze in. Hold on, hold on. You can sit, if you're sitting front row, if you're sitting front row, if you're sitting front row, and Raheem Sterling is taking the corner, and you do this, 
You can feel, feel it on his Wow. Yeah, so you're shoes. gonna come into my house now in, in Stanford Bridge and you're not even taking your shoes off. You're just gonna just <laughs> start cutting. Not the forest kept the shoes on. They did, they did shoes on. They landed pissed on your carpet. They did, they did, they did, they did. Let's talk about that game. Labrador's in the house. Let's talk about that game. Let's talk about that game because not forest have had a very good start of the season. They've had Arsenal, they've had United, they've had Chelsea now, and who else? They had another tough game as well. Four games. Who did they have? But they, regardless, they've had yeah, all yeah. of those three teams, mm, right? Mm. Arsenal lost 2 1. Yeah. Right? But it was a good game. It was a close game. United, they were 2 0 up at Old Trafford. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, United came back. And now they came to, and this was Emirates, Old Trafford, and Chelsea all the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? And then they came to you guys, and they, third time's a charm. Mm. They couldn't do it against Arsenal, couldn't do it against United, but they got close both times, and they did it against Chelsea. Yeah. Forest, first of all, give them a lot of credit. 100. Mm -hmm. They're looking really good. They have like a super team. They're transfer deadline. They're seeing they sign everyone. Everyone. Like, yeah. Uh, they're, you know, so, so they're like, yeah. Hustle the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Chelsea's trying Chelsea. to get Chalabo as well. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's the bottom half of the table. Super team. Yeah. 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 Generally. Yeah. But <laughs> from the Chelsea side, mm. this should be the super team with the amount of money they spent. Mm. It should be the real super team of the world. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you're losing at home to Nottingham Forest. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's mad. I, I mm. predicted that this would be a difficult game because I've seen Nottingham Forest, the way that the physical long throws up to the striker knockdowns, I knew that that was going to be difficult. But all their January signings weren't involved. So I said, we're going to minimum scrape this. And when I seen that lineup and it was a back four, a lot of people are mistaking it for a back three because they're seeing three centre-backs and they're thinking, oh, we're playing a back three again like last season. But it is a four. Chilwell is legitimately as a left winger in this team. He's playing mm -hmm. left wing. He's playing where Hazard played. He's wearing the same boots that yeah, Hazard walked in. <laughs> it is, yeah. it's he's tough. a winger. He's, a winger. It's, he's yeah. playing as a winger. And it's it's threw off everything from what we saw in preseason. In preseason, we were playing a normal 4-2-3-1. We were seeing Mudrick combinations on the left with Jackson, in Cuckoo combinations on the left, Carney. Now, obviously, two of those players are injured. Poch has had to kind of adapt. But for me, when you have kind of the options that we do, even at Ian Matson, who's a lot more fluid, you take a look at the, the way that the game he's was going. Now, right? Did he, no, he's gone now, right? No, he, he remained. He stayed, he stayed, in the end, he stayed. stayed. Yeah, 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 in the end, he stayed. And you take a look at the pass map, it was everything down the right. Mm -hmm. Everything down the right. You take a look at the left and it's almost been abandoned. It's a wilderness. There's, tum there's tumbleweed, everything. It's, nobody's going down there yeah. because there's no creativity. There's no... There's no link up. There's mm -hmm. no even even interchange between the striker and and the left winger. It just doesn't exist. You mm -hmm. can't play down that way mm -hmm. and and not get um, depossessed. So for me, it was it was one of those games where again Chelsea just at times moving the ball too slowly. Caicedo at times was a little bit rough around the edges mm. for the goal, giving the ball away. He's meant to be technically secure. Back -back I don't know if he's nervous or what's mm. going on. I'm seeing Enzo in the 10, Gallagher deeper. Gallagher can't progress the ball the same way Enzo does. It feels like things are the one, wrong way around. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. We, we had Nkuku in the middle. We were trying to build around him. But for me, even then, you've got to adapt to, as a manager. And you've got to back yourself. We're at mm -hmm. home to Nottingham Forest. Let's see some attackers on the pitch. I yeah. know Mudrick's coming back from injury. Madueke, I know he played well against Wimbledon. Maybe can't translate to, to, to this level. And assume it's going to translate. That's but crazy. <laughs> Considering you said 40 million. But bro, do you know what it is with us? We got a lot of wingers that are very raw. Mudrik. I, I said it with Mudrik. I have not watched him. I didn't watch Shakhtar Donetsk on a weekly basis in the Ukrainian League. Yeah, a couple of Champions League cameos we saw. Yeah, a couple of Champions League. I know Arsenal were interested and we kind of just hijacked that. I said, this player is a 35 million pound player. He's got potential. Same with Madueke. But because he's priced at this, everybody wants to see him. They're like, he must play. He must deliver. I'm like, this is, this is what he is. He needs coaching. His finishing, his crossing, his off the ball movement, his ball retention, everything needs coaching. Mm -hmm. So that I think we put together a team that's on 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 the whole very young, mm -hmm. and even though we have a development coach, it's a coach that now has to overdevelop everything. Has to be developed. Mm -hmm. There's nobody to depend on. There's nobody that goes yeah. in there and says, "I'm going to do my job. I know what you need me to do." Sterling, Outside of Sterling, yeah. Silver's getting to the to the older ages as mm -hmm. well. So it's like. Everybody's on on the learning on yeah. the learning. You had curve. the Jorginho, the Kante, just to yeah. and the Premier League, the, the Premier League ain't learning. But you don't. But this is the curve. thing. This is this is my the thing. I spy say though. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I saw that. Yeah, the names. Crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. I didn't yeah. see that coming. <laughs> that is crazy. That <laughs> I was say you in for me, January. That's a good one. This is what you're doing. The game's the game. The game's the game. Now you hear it. Listen, you see my thing with Chelsea. Yeah, is yeah. So. Obviously, I, I don't have Chelsea finishing the Champions League. I don't think they're going to finish in the Champions League. Yeah. Even though with the amount of money they spent, I still think it's a, it's still too raw. That's a moment. massive failure, though, if you it's, don't no, no, but this is... My, no, but yeah. If you're looking at the money they spent, yeah, you would expect them to at least challenge for that top four. But you have to actually look at the context of what they're dealing with. And I don't think 
they're ready yet for Champions League football. I don't. I still think this is a transition season. I still think it's an experimental season. I still think. I for me, I've given Chelsea a, a season pass. What's the bare minimum for them then? Bare minimum is to qualify for Europe. So six, seven. so fifth, six around that. I think that's yeah. that's but fifth, fifth gets now. Champions League. Champions League. Champions League. Yeah. They get so fifth and they, the they somehow get that's that will so be great for top them. Eight. I'm saying top seven, top seven, top. You could. You're pushing eight, even eight. So I think nah. yeah. Yeah. So now I'm starting looking at you a bit funny. Yeah. But but what I'm saying is the reason why I say that. that so half of me is like I've given them that pass. I'm like, you but know they got what? no European football. So that's what I'm saying. That's, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, but yeah. then you, when you got forty, when you've signed forty odd players, and you can only start with eleven, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then you got maybe you can only have seven on the bench. Yeah. It's like you have to now figure out from the players that you've signed which ones you can rely on, which ones suit your system best, and which ones will actually deliver for you. And with Pochettino, he's gonna it's gonna take him a little bit of time. He's mm. gonna make some mistakes. He's gonna make some ex- experiments that are not gonna go well. Something will go right. So I feel like in my mind, I, if I wanted to be a hater, I'd be like, nah, that you spent this much, you better you better get that Champions League football." Mm-hmm. But I'm looking at it. I'm like, so that's half of me. The other half is hell no. That's what I'm saying you can't yeah. give them the other half is saying if this was Manchester United that done what Chelsea did, can't, the yeah. way we would be scrutinized. He's talking about 35 million. If yeah, Madrid's a 35 million that needs to be nurtured. That's what I said. Chelsea Anthony get away with get stuff. Right? Every <laughs> single week because yeah. of his Chelsea price tag. get away with stuff that they get Arsenal away with United, United, United would never, never. It's insane. So I'm, they finished I'm, 12th. Yeah. And, 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 and we're 12th, 12th now. We're 12th now. <laughs> that's two points behind for us. We've had harder fixtures than yeah. you. Yeah, it's mad. You got one win it's and that was mad. Luton. That's what I'm saying. Like, doesn't matter if you it's got, doesn't matter if you got an experimental yeah. team. Doesn't matter, if, doesn't matter what you have. Yeah. For me, it should be finishing top five. impossible if you're a Chelsea football club. It's losing at Chelsea home to teams like Nottingham Forest. Yeah. Mm. That's like, it's, 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 you can't do it. No, but I realized, no, but I realized in the last you six months. You can't lose yeah. at home mm. to but teams I, like that. You can't. No, you can't. If you want to, for me, you've got to be finishing yeah. top five. That's my expectation. And I'm even thinking more fourth, you know, comfortably. Is that do the it. fan talking? Or is that you being realistic with your expectations? I think it's both because yeah. when you have no European football, you have a whole week to train. I get yeah. that there's going to be bumps. Like you said, you're fin- you're, you're hoping yeah. to finish Champions League as well, right? Yeah, you're yeah. not expecting unbeaten, winning every game. No, there's going to be yeah, bumps. Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. But you have to take more good than bad out of that season. Mm-hmm. And for me, that is showing a progression. And and I because I believe in Pochettino so much as a coach and for mm-hmm. what I know him to do with young players, I do expect, and, and we're not just signing any, any old players. Mm-hmm. Like the young players, the Enzos, the Caicedos, the Lavias, that yeah. midfield free alone, that is the dream midfield in terms of replacing the Jorginho, the Cover, and the Kante, two injury prone players. Yeah. You're, you're now bringing the eight, the average age down, but that's like a Real Madrid, Real, Real Madrid midfield rebuild. Like I'm expecting mm. that midfield to be something really serious. Though? They is got it, Premier League. They, they've been playing in the Prem. Is it really though? Because I think it should be that good. I think the like, price tag is clouding people's judgment. Yeah, who's been on playing their in the Prem? Really? Ability. I think mm. Enzo's the only one that you could say potentially is could be a Real Madrid player. Lavia's, I don't think Lavia's you know? are potential Real Madrid players. Are they really? You don't think Caicedo? No. I think Lavia, Lavia, no, 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 no. Caicedo, no. no. Caicedo, I'd be real. You've seen some great performances. Lavia's a very good player. Lavia's going to be a very good player. But what I'm saying is, in terms of the potential, in terms of what you're spending, you look at what Real Madrid just spent on too many um, Bellingham and uh, Camavinga. You're looking at how much they spend. I mean, you look at the difference in quality. There is a gap. There, yes, is, there is a difference in quality. I I get say, you, know, what, you paid what, 100 and how much for, for tackles and interceptions? <laughs> it's true. Well, that's what you paid. That, yeah, and that's, and that is dis- that's press resistant. That's yeah. It's disgusting, though. It's yeah, disgusting. Yeah. I think that's outrageous for you to spend that much money on basically tackles. But, that's but, crazy, but, but, yeah, right, yeah, but hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do that shit. That's what you say. That position, that position. That's what you paid for. Is that not what Rice is doing? That's what Rice is doing too, right? That's what Rice is doing too, but Rice, I feel like, got more to his game. I think Rice has got range. He's got he's got the mobility. Too many hundred million euros. Covers DM. More distance. He's got that, but brings the Does he have it even to the degree of rice? Let's be real. Let's, yeah. let's have an honest conversation nah, about it, bro. It That's what let's, I said. Obviously, yeah. I was gutted within the side of Of course, I was. Yeah. But in the long run, I'm happier we got rice. Got rice. rice is better. I'm it's way happier we got. I think rice, rice got a lot more experience and the leadership as, higher, as well. I think upside is higher over rice. Everything from on the pitch and off the pitch, the culture of the club, what he can do as a, as a leader, what he can bring to the club. I think on the pitch, I think he covers a, a lot of distance. I think he he's a tidy player on the ball. I think Kais, the ball I think really does all of these things no, as well. I, Not I, the leadership yeah, side, yeah, yeah, yeah. but in but terms there's, there's a whole package. I think yeah. I'm, I'm way more happier than we got them. Mm. No, but Casado, yeah, I think he's definitely what Chelsea needed. Yeah. Oh, for the prize, you got fleeced. Yeah. You got fleeced. Yeah. I'm telling you, brother, you could have found no 100. The price you could have found his high. cousin. And you could have got it maybe for five minutes. That's gonna be your <laughs> <movie. laughs> And he would have done the same job as him. I'm telling you, am yeah. I lying though? You could have gone to yeah, South yeah. America. You could have gone to one of those leagues, the Argentinian league from River Plate or one of them ones, and they would have got you the same <laughs> job. They would have done you the same job for 
probably five, two million, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's true, true though. True. No, it's, it's true. true. And listen, listen, it's this true. is unforgivable right now from Chelsea. Is it panic stations yet? Or nah, no, 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 for sure not. Nah. Not for me. Yeah. Because for me- Because you've lied that you've won one, drew drew one, lost two. Yeah, yeah. It's not good. And it's and good. a couple of weeks ago, I was saying we need to win seven in a row and we haven't done that. Like yeah. we've lost- I, I, I don't think you're going to win seven in a row at all this season. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe not. No chance. I, seven in a row. Have a, have a one back-to-back home possible. game since you know my last October. To, you know, my brother went to five home uh, Stafford Bridge games last season. Mm. Did not see one. Didn't one yeah, yeah. One. No, you wouldn't. You didn't not see one. one. It was a rare sight. You know how that is? Bridge. Mm. That's your home. That's that's your home. Things it's not a fortress anymore. It's yeah. not. And and Nottingham Forest, mm. these are the type of games where you have to win. And if you look at the fixtures coming up, up until I think Arsenal, um, there's an Aston Villa one in there, but up until Arsenal after the international break in October. No, no, your games are ridiculous. I saw a run on Twitter. There's a bad run in like November, late October. There's a bad run. That's what I'm saying. And before you gotta, you gotta get those points. You gotta get those points. I think. <laughs> listen, long, well, like. Cole Palmer when he comes in, he looked like right, he was you're good gonna off be the making a lot more prison, brother. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, that. <laughs> <laughs> you better start preparing, man. Listen, <laughs> you're gonna make some more prison. Listen, we we we, suit, we brother, we are make, we are expecting improvement. After international break, uh, yeah. I'm not expecting to see Chua at left back. Yeah. I'm expecting to see a winger out there. Cole Palmer mm. coming in. Looks like a tidy player. When he came on, he showed little glimpses. Mm -hmm. If we can get just players playing in their position and looking like an actual team that when people receive the ball, they're comfortable where they're receiving it. Mm -hmm. There's some sort of plan. There's some sort of cohesion. There's some sort of chemistry is building up. I think Jackson, he had a bad miss. I was going to mm -hmm. ask about Nicholas Jackson. And I, I saw, you know, Miss Jackson on sofa scored and someone said, I'm sorry. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all saw that. Yeah, yeah. I saw people call him Jack Shawaii. <laughs> I saw the, the slang. <laughs> sorry, Miss Jackson. We see it. We see it. But, Incredible. but I've got a lot of faith in this guy. His general play, his hold up, his his ability to carry the ball and take us up the attack. I know the finishing yeah. is, is obviously who's better. Uh, who's better, him or Nketiah? General question. Huh? I honestly want to hold to the table. Early days. You, you Maybe know, too early no, no. to tell. Oh, too early uh, to tell. Uh, 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 question. No, too early to tell. Yeah, Mr. L Faze, yeah. He loves Faisal, yeah. He's, he's got some crimes to answer for. What, was he Big Jackson? Oh, the way he was Villarreal. talking. The way he was talking no, about things. Uh, like, yeah. Same with Havertz. Listen. I can't cook a guy. Like, uh, Jackson's yeah, a good player. player. No, but I'm saying, but general I, question I, to the yeah. table. What do you think? Jackson's a good player. I think um, he's got. I think he's got ability. He's, he does. He's, technically, he's I very good. He is. Just needs to, he just needs to, <laughs> he just has to refine the finishing. I asked the question, man. No, no, no. Are you asking that question? <laughs> that's, that's, that's an unfair question purely because in Ketty has Yo. been in the Premier League for a long time. Jackson's only been there four games, Sharky. You just said it. Four games only be four games. Four games. <laughs> no, I just wanted to know what people thought. <laughs> they're, they're and where's Nketiah come from? They don't want to have to circle back to the last one. Nketiah come back from, he came from Cobham. So I want some credit for that as well, you know. Oh, he's like, 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 Chelsea have only won just 12 games in the So no one asked that question. Yeah, what do you think about Jackson? No one asked that question? What, I said Jackson and Nketiah. I don't know you asked it. I said Nketiah, listen. I said Jackson. Uh, Jackson, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with Jackson. Yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> because because, <laughs> because you like Jackson because obviously he's good at everything but scoring. I, I, it's four at games. At this current moment. moment. He could be like our Eddie Jesus. Nketiah is also good, good at Jesus. everything. Oh, is. Because also good at all the stuff that Jackson's good at, plus scoring. Plus he's a leader. Mm. So are you cool with Nketiah feel, starting like up front? Like ago, if the narrative was, the narrative was very different on Nketiah. The narrative was, check, oh, check he could just finish. finish. No, no, he, check like, my like, he's, 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 he's been, he's been, um, no, 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 no yeah, I know. He's been really for minutes. No, no, I don't think, I don't think, still, I don't think he's like, I still think we need a proper number. No, you're a better team with the Hastings. Nketiah, I think would be doing a better job at Chelsea right now. But once again, I'm not going to be a hypocrite, four games. But yeah, like I said, Chelsea have just won 12 games in the league since Bodie took over. Just a random fact for you guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, analysis now by we got we usually get analysis from, from fans. I want to give Forrest some praise. We've got a Forrest fan called Forrest Gump. They said a massive away win, which was what we needed to improve on last season. And huge shout outs to Worrell, who was poor last week, but fully showed up this Dog. week. A one year at this point, what do I even need to say? He's just a beautiful, beautiful man. And Ilanga, he's got so much raw ability. Even besides the goal, there was a dribble where it seemed like the ball went out, but he managed to go from the corner flag and I set up the chance. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the corner flag to the goal isn't that far in Tampa Bridge. Um, <laughs> he <should have> <laughs> crazy that thing, goal, we've, we've got Sangare, yeah. yes, man. Sangare and Domingo. Uh, to add depth to the Smith Ford, now got attacking depth in Origi. What a way to go international break. Excellent start to the season. Elanga, yeah. 70 million, signing him. Oh, Sam, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah that, that nah, to be position. fair, you know what is he's he's a good Premier League player. Don't get twisted, bro. Like just because we sold him doesn't mean he's 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 a bum. Do you know what I mean? He just wasn't good enough for us, but mm. he's still good enough for like, like Dan James. Yeah, 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 like Dan James as well. Yeah. Dan James, 
Mm. Yeah, he's got pace. Good, he's good. He's yeah, got pace. It's he, good attributes. You know, he's got yeah, a bit about him. Useful yeah. players for useful. someone else. Yeah, hundred percent. For facts. sure. For sure. All right, let's move on now. Um, two, seven goal thriller, up north mm-hmm. at Turf Moor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, Son. Mm-hmm. Son striker. Company. Hype. Respect, my boy. Me. You mean son? No, no, you. This me. Is, this is just, no, respect respect me. me. First okay, of all. I respect you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. First, you respect <laughs> you. I say that. Because I was the one yeah. telling man, put son in the night. Yeah. Yeah. Throughout the true, summer, sure. I said, yo, there's going to be no solutions. Facts. And after what I've been seeing with Richarlison all the start of this season, mm. and I warned them about it when he <laughs> signed as well. <laughs> you was there. Yeah. I mean, and I was telling them. Yep. Yeah. 60 mil. Watch what happens. Mm. Mm. First yeah. game in the Benched. line. As soon as I saw it, and you got to remember as well, this is coming off the back of the cup exit to Fulham mm-hmm. midweek, brother. That we wasn't that. easy to swallow, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah, for sure. That's but crazy. The fact that you went out. Second round, second, <laughs> second, second <laughs> round as well. Second that's round as well. Crazy. That's crazy. Now they're really doing one game a week. Mm. Like there is until, no cup until January. Yeah, until FA, FA Cup, cup which yeah. is why I was like, yo. Burnley you should be trying to win more. that competition. Bro. And mm-hmm. the yeah. fact that Burnley hadn't won as well coming into this, you're thinking, shit, this is like Might be the game. It, yeah, yeah, this might be the game. Yeah, this yeah, might yeah. be the one where we have to hold a back-to-back or something. And it was yeah. early on, Lyle Foster made it 1-0. Yeah. Bro, it just gave me flashbacks <laughs> to last year where first half, we just suffer basically. Mm. And it waits till second half. But I think that's the one thing with this team in this season. I remember even in the United game, just mm-hmm. that bit of character to ride out rough moments. Mm-hmm. It's like, right, you got the first 10, 15 minutes. I remember I was on DR, I was like, Still got 80 minutes. Mm -hmm. I got faith. Madison, you see the way the game is ticking. Mm -hmm. Brother, Mm -hmm. that brother is a true footballer. Mm. When I tell you, you know, we got him for 30 million. No, very good. Still, still. It's it's 40 million minus Mm -hmm. Harry Winks, 10 million. No, no, it's it's, it's still. It's a still. Well, Harry Winks, bro, I said, even at 40, I'm still. Yeah, he's doing really well. That's his level. When these lot asked me, um, <laughs> like, what's he's actually doing really well. That's that was foul. That was foul. That was that was cheeky. He's an academy that product. Be better. Be better. That was cheeky. Be better. That was cheeky. That was cheeky. That was cheeky. That was cheeky. He's been right, at right. the club since he was six. Yeah, don't do that. That's I cheeky. Don't do that. Don't that's do that. You're selling academy players. Don't do that. Who wears the armband? Reese. Reese wears the armband. We're doing right by him. Does he? Well, at home in his bed. Oh, crazy. Crazy. When he does play. Yeah. So when these lot asked me, and I think. I can't remember. Someone asked me in the group chat. Someone asked me in the group chat who I wanted in as a, a shopping list, didn't it? Mm. Okay, what did you say? I said Madison was the first player I said. Oh yeah, yeah. I said Madison. I yeah. think he's a United fan. I think fan. a lot of teams. I think he's a United fan. I gas like me. No, man, Mount is he's better. A Mount, Mount is better. No. no. As a footballer, mm. there's only one English midfielder that I would say is probably better than him, and it's Phil Foden. Phil Foden. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Oh, Bellingham. Mount. He's better than Mount. Uh, Bellingham don't count. Yeah, Bellingham. That, that I, fake 10. I, I, hey, come I, on, man. Sometimes I struggle, hey. to, I struggle to be sometimes he's from Birmingham. <laughs> I, that, that to me is hard to fathom. Forget that guy from, from Birmingham is killing it for every year. I swear to you, you see my mind. He's his best player. That's uh, Ramadan, he's from Birmingham. Right that, that to me, it, 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 makes, no it makes no sense. So that one is just, that's a whole different case. I just let that one, that one is there. It's, 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 it's an anomaly. It's, it's an anomaly. anomaly. It's yeah, just somewhere yeah, else. You look at the the midfield in terms of, I'll compare Madison, Mount and Grealish. I think he's the best out of the three. As a footballer, I think he's the best. I think he's got I the just, most complete. He's the always way. up there every technical season. Yeah. Chance is created. Grealish really yeah. is very technical. Very mm. Grealish is very technical, but in terms of all round set pieces, a, every set think, pieces, be, yeah. dribbling. You got the being able to score goals, create goals. I think yeah. he's, he's he's. I think yeah. what we're seeing now as well is him stepping into almost like a more of a leadership role. Yes. I feel yes. like coming in straight away, vice captain. I feel like Harry Kane's left. His team's going through an overhaul, and the way he's just running games, I feel like I'm just mm. like. I'm glad you're kind of the heartbeat because we've been crying for this type of profile forever. Since and that's like Van why, Vart maybe. Bro, e- Ericsson. Ericsson, I mm-hmm. would have said. Yeah. Ericsson, that kind of- Ericsson, true. Yeah, 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 sorry about that. That's why today when he did the assist for you, like, I was that's like, like, yo, that's flashbacks. That's 2017, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. but Madison gives us that feeling for the first time. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I've been crying for nine in the uh, sun into the nine, because mm-hmm. now you have someone who can spoon feed you. And those chances that will fall into Richarlison the first two or three weeks. Yeah. Son is eating up, bro. Yeah. Did you see the finish for the first one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Either one, foot, two, Solomon, yeah. hold this dink. Yeah. Mm. Then the second one, it, well, the third one, lovely left foot mm. finish. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, bro, no matter what this guy, get him in that box, he will eat up. But, 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 yeah. but, but a certain man called Faisal yeah. said he was finished. Uh, listen, but listen, and Faisal is Austria. a very weird brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'll be so real. Oh. <laughs> Faisal is, um, he's a very, what do you call you it? How describe him? I don't know how to even have to describe a person like that. Still, he's, he's, he's not from this planet. Yeah, 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 he's not from this planet. Because oh, this thing that I said, we don't want Jude Bellingham. 
Yeah. Oh, mm. what? He said this before they signed him. He Why? Said, There's a if, clip. If Real Madrid you know wanna, said, if they wanna listen to my advice, he said, yeah. he said Real Madrid should listen to my advice. Yeah. He shouldn't get Jude Bellingham. Who did he and want? Now, and now he's now he's tweeting like he's a savior. Every Bellingham has scored every single game. Every single winner. Two Getafe, or three winners yeah. in a row, yeah. whatever. Three man of the match awards and already. And Faisal tweeting, I'm in love with this man. Wow. Mm. Sick, but three months ago, so I don't want him. Yeah, it's and stay on their side. No, but you know it's just uh, stay on their side. With Son, with Son, yeah, yeah. Last season, obviously, was probably his worst season. Yeah, in a start the shirt. But even then, was it really? You, got, you still got double digits. Uh, listen, in a season, don't no, do that. No, no, no. Hold don't on, let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Bad season last year. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. In a bad season where the team performed badly, he still managed to get double. digits. Well, I'm trying to essentially say, there's a little bit of a stat pattern in certain games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, he still showed that he still can finish. Less than four months. That's what I agree. Yeah, it's a Sadio Mane move. But yeah, exactly. So he did struggle on the wing because you could see that his legs were. He, his yeah, legs started in. to yeah go yeah. and he was struggling to beat his man. But mm. like you said, he's got the finishing the still there. Moving centrally, you're gonna get the goals. For me, son, if you talk about his his whole time in the Premier League, when we did the little top ten greatest wingers, obviously his name didn't really come up, but he's one of those outside shouts. He's, he's getting in and around there. Yeah, he's in and around there. Yeah. yeah, like I don't think I think son is one of the players that are extremely underrated. I think he's one of the most underrated players in the Premier League. I think he doesn't get the respect he deserves. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's playing for top. Maybe because he's be a honest. white not winning. Maybe he's yeah. not loud. Maybe he's very humble. That I don't as know well. what it is. loud. How is that red? <laughs> yeah, didn't <I> <laughs> <laughs> When he got sent off. <laughs> <laughs> documentary. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. I remember <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> you did it on voting. That was too accurate. That was way too accurate. Hey. Hey, you just got to clip hella. But I agree. Moving him into the middle, you just get the best out of him. As you said, the 1v1 he ain't been able to do yeah. it. The link up play now moving into the middle. You mm. actually have people in and around you. You have Solomon who can run yeah. off you. You have Kulisevsky who can move. You have Madison. You have Basuma. You have Saar. Mm. Kane had to drop deep and yeah. do all of that mm -hmm. by himself. Exactly. That's why the nine row I feel like is very different. Perfect. Now you have to have someone who gives you goals and yeah. he gives us that asset. He's one the of the hat best trick in the first start. Incredible. Hey, Crazy. I Incredible. don't want to see Richarlison for another. No, 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 two, no, no, no. You, you, I think that. Do you think Richarlison left wing? Is, yeah. Left wing. I've said uh, using his, his pace, his industry, yep. that kind of pressing from the front. Mm -hmm. yep. You can use that on the left. And guess what? All of a sudden, the expectation drops. Of goals yep. drops. Drops. Because yep. you've got, you got a different Now, all yeah, of a sudden, yeah, when yeah, you've got there. seven goals and th four assists, it's like, ah, yeah, he's played there. Yeah, Everton as well. No, no, you're he's right. I agree. There, but I agree. because he's got that nine, especially because he plays for Brazil mm. in that yeah, nine, nine as well, there's this expectation of, we need something south of Richard. And I'm just getting Richard the first. Come on, please. Like now, Solomon. Yeah. Son Kulusevsky, that's the front three I want to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, for sure. For what? sure. Midfield. Oh. It what's your, what's your thoughts on uh, Manasalem? Bro, two assists. Listen, first game, I'm happy with it. Oh. I, I said even in the midweek game where was it in the cup? He was actually one of the few bright spots. So now you come in, two assists. So it's oh, Brennan Johnson and Squaddy. Like. Brett, I've said that's an expensive Squaddy to have, but yeah. you can yeah. come yeah. in. For me, yeah. he's he got the that energy manager. and the pace. That, uh, 45, not Brennan Johnson. Johnson. Not yeah. Brennan Johnson. You, you, oh, Brennan, oh, okay. Nowadays, you've that got to have it. You're going to have expensive yeah. bench warmers. Mm. You're going to mm. have expensive bench warmers. I said that. Yeah, break, that we can break into that team. If you Absolutely. Want. You've got pace. You've got energy. Impact sub. Mm -hmm. Use that. If that's going to even take the pressure off you at first, mm -hmm. where you're just going to be a squad player. Oh, do that. That's what Richard said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is your best. The front three you played with against Burnley, that is for me on paper. And I think I said this to you, like, the last time we were on episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that might be your best front three. That's 100 yeah. million on the bench, them Solid. two that I just named. Richarlison and Brennan yeah, Johnson. Okay, bro, it is what it is. Let's put some respect on Daniel Levy's One name. player I do want to talk about, I know, you, I know you're a big fan of. Yeah. Kuti. Kuti. What a goal. World Cup. Yes. Wow. Two goals already this season. Mm -hmm. No bookings. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Listen, mm. they don't breed many like that anymore, you know. There's very few and far. Mm -hmm. People talk about Rolls Royces. That's real men. That's real men still. <laughs> say again, say again. What's that? Real. Real men. Men. How many yeah. of us? Yeah. Uh, not yeah. many, bro. <laughs> not many. God. I told you, I, listen. Argentinians in I think, general. I, like, think I said, though, this season for him, Kulusevsky was another one coming into the season. I said, there's big expectation on these guys mm -hmm. because you've got all of these new guys coming in, yep. but you've been here a year or two. You've seen the mess. You were with Dyer. You were with Lloris. I'm seeing him reposting Van der Ven and Vicario after every game. Yeah. Because he's just grateful. I got competent guys next to Martinez. Remember Martinez when he's sitting next to Varane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, I, and I feel like for the first time, because he's got competent players next yeah. to him, you're seeing his true level yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Last year, I always felt like, bro, you're disgracing yourself. <laughs> but then I look around them and I'm like, 
Yeah, it was dying. It must be the guys around you. I can't fully take it out on you, but there were so many moments where I remember the Burnley game, North London derby, where I was just like, you're actually costing us at certain points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The World Cup, it papered over those cracks, (laughs) I felt like. This season, though, the way he started, and as I said, similar with Madison, yeah, you've taken a vice captaincy role, lead that team now, lead it from the back. And Madison said it in an interview after the game yesterday, bro, the way this guy plays, that's a tone setter. You like Mm. have it with Lisandro and Casemiro as well. Them dogs who aggressive front foot, that's how you set the tone. They set the the tone for for the way they behave. Their their sort of even their like they don't have to. They don't have to talk. Mm. These men just show. They just act, and then everybody are kind of. Ghost oh, response, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? The, the Kai Havertz chance in your game, it was early in the game, yeah, where yeah. Mm. Rice won that tackle, poof, mm. and it was all of a sudden, everyone, the whole oh, stadium so gets yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's yeah. what those players do. Yeah, and I just feel sure. like this season, every single game he's done mm. that. And the first one he scored got subbed off, and mm. I was like, yo, mm-hmm. hope it's not a long injury because we ain't got cover for that yeah. position. No. He's one of the few players. So mm. I'm hoping this season, he can be like a pillar we can build upon. And yeah. I know everybody was talking about, <laughs> hey, listen, the top centre backs, he ain't in that conversation. He's in that conversation, for sure. We're going to start having that discussion. No, no, soon, remember, remember, remember. Speak soon. Remember, listen, yeah, no, 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 he's no, no, in that listen, conversation. It's the sure. first international break. Right now, what we've yeah, done yeah. is we've taken care of Early. business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you've gotten out of the cup, fair enough. That's a yeah. bad blip. But you've won three games, you've drawn three, three away games as well. And I think a lot of them we lost last year as well. Yeah. You've developed a playing style, the new players have got their feet wet. Mm. But now it's consistency. The season doesn't stop after four games. And as you said, there's going to be hiccups. There's going to mm-hmm. come moments when Spurs lose a 2 or 3 nil, yeah. yeah. And I've got to come here and be like, yo, yo. <laughs> bad day at the office mm-hmm. today. But guess what? We ride it out, baby. Because yeah, we got Ange. It. Big yeah. Ange. We got big Ange, brother. Mm-hmm. Listen, I, mean, I, I can't lie to you. That brother has got me all on board. Mm-hmm. I'm ne- I've never been like one of these outs on managers and things like that. I always mm-hmm. back every manager that's usually come in. Mm-hmm. Manu, you know. Mm. Um, <laughs> but Ange, the way he's got this team playing, yeah. I'm sure even outsiders are looking and like, you're looking at, yeah, it's an early start, but there's actually things being Bro, built. I sang mm-hmm. the there's song foundations. last week. <laughs> 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 that was my mind. I rate that, you know. <laughs> that was my mind. <laughs> it takes a lot more arsenal to, to say that. that. <laughs> but honestly, uh, I feel like we've got a good thing going right now. And yeah. let's just hope it keeps going. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Burnley, welcome to the Premier League, lads. That Tika Taka shit you were doing mm-hmm. in the Championship, it ain't going wrong. Yeah. Is there well, yeah. I, I hope you have a plan B going company. On. I was going to no, say, is company doing it wrong right now? He is doing it. I, I said is he stubborn? What's going on? First game of the season. Yeah. When you was like um, saying that, oh, they're going to get a little upset or whatever. Yeah. But I said to you, it's difficult. Coming in, I think there's only ever one team I've ever seen get promoted playing the same style of football and overachieve. And that was Swansea yeah. with Brendan yeah. Rodgers. They're yeah. the only team I've ever seen actually come into the league and bop teams. Playing the same style. After that, I haven't really, really seen it. Every team, every team. Blackpool was a fun one. Blackpool was just But like, it still went down. They were, they were, they were, they were, <laughs> they were playing vibes. They were yeah, playing yeah, rockstar yeah. football. Charlie Adam. Charlie Adam. They were playing rockstar football. Tangerine Campbell. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was rock and roll. That was rock yeah. and roll football. But that was, that was like, we got crazy. One of my crazy, yeah, favorite yeah, yeah, promoted yeah, teams yeah, is Blackpool yeah. under... under the, um, yeah. Who was the manager? Uh, it was the chubby guy. What's his name, man? No, he's bald. No, it's Oli. Um... Oh, the Where's guy, my man? mockers? Oh. Oh. oh my god, I could do his accent, uh. but I don't know his name. Uh. <laughs> is it Ian Holloway? Holloway, 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 Holloway
um, Mitrovic and Palinia the deadline oh, day. Poor mm. guy, but you see him at the airport. He yeah, was walking I sad. That's this I heard. I heard. <laughs> it was in Munich. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what's crazy? No, they said that he did the photo shoot. So the media stuff, yeah. The media, media stuff, stuff, yeah. Ready. Yeah. He changed his bio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was the three Jows. It was Jow Cancelo, Jow Felix, and, and Jow Paulinho. Yeah. Only two Jows could win. Yeah. Yeah. Two Jows could go through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the next round. You see the other two Jows in Barca kids are smiling. You know what? Jow Felix was balling, you know. They're all Portuguese. I'm telling you, it's not easy. crazy as well. It's not easy. Jow Paulinho. I was like Gala when he's having a night. Yeah, yeah. Good girl of United, that's a good one. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 effect. There's a lot of man that guys, I would take a girl over it. still right now in that team. There's oh, a lot of man. Your team. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Marshy, yo, you need to wake up, bro. Valid win. But uh, sticking on City, City mm. yeah. So Paulini, like you're saying, so they they still got yeah, nah, big, big losses. But I thought first half it actually mm. seemed like a close game, and then mm. second half they just took over. I think Foden, we have to speak on as well. I feel like he's finally. Stepping into that mantle as well, yeah. where we asked, listen, Mara's has left, KDB's out for a long time. Can you be the guy to carry the creative burden? Last week, he pretty much ran the show. Mm-hmm. This yeah. week as well, same thing. And bro, the guy is just, I feel like this season going to take a different mm-hmm. level. And we've seen high level folding as yeah. well. But I just think now he's going to be given the reins. Julian Alvarez is another That's one as well. One. That's Started the, one the I season yeah, yeah, yeah. incredibly. And yeah. you see, you say City's a little bit boring as well, yeah, but you know, Pep, what he's doing this year? Mm. I'm always watching Pep closely because I'm a Pep hype these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, call me. Yeah. Same. The big and little. Mm-hmm. Last season, he brought back the big nines, mm. but now we're seeing big and little. Mm. Alvarez. Yeah. Yes. Carol and Suarez and <laughs> are doing that. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just every time I'm seeing now, Haaland's almost playing mm. like a target man. Yeah. No more off the nine. He's doing that sometimes, mm. but he's getting more involved. But Alvarez is the one I think is just benefiting the most from this and for you know, sure. The one he's benefiting the most, I think, obviously, you've got the, the headache of Haaland, right? So yeah. obviously, you know that Haaland, when every time you go into the game, the whole focus Must is Haaland, yeah. Haaland, Haaland, yeah. Haaland. Forgetting that there's a whole shoot on the right hand side. <laughs> yeah. There's a serious shoot on yeah. there. He he's a serious shoot. Serious you know? shoot. On. Serious goal scorer. So yeah. I feel like because the, the attention is always on my man, it's kind of like he just slightly goes. He's a the decoy. Yeah, yeah. Comes in, bang! Yeah. That goal against uh, Newcastle. Newcastle the strike was beautiful. Yeah, unreal. Unreal. Did there's not a lot of guys that can finish like that. Still, did you mm. not think that second goal should have been given though? No, Aki, the Aki no. header. No. Did Harlan say himself? Because I, I think no. Aki, I think no. Harlan said himself. Yeah, a little nah, bit. Nah, little it's, bit not, it's not. It's not. But if you look at the goalkeeper, he's yeah. not actually in his line of sight. But it's it's the fact that you see when you have a player there, you're in your mind. He's thinking, is he gonna touch it? Is he not? Yeah, yeah. And that even that thought of that is enough to ruin the whole. Yeah. It's enough to put you off. Yeah, that's enough to put you off. And that is by definition affecting the play. Facts. Yeah. Right. For facts. So for me, that's not a goal store. I yeah. can't lie. I don't know why people are even trying I to argue that one. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. true. I think then though, just uh, I think the energy just went out for yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. That's the Haaland show begins after the Braman. I think someone posted yesterday, he's got exact same order of how many, in each game, how many goals he scored. As last year? As last season. So first game, two goals. Then one, then zero, then three. Like mm. same, whatever, yeah, yeah, exact yeah. same as a confirmed that's robot. Crazy. Yeah, he's proper robot. That's, yeah. that's what he's been programmed. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 the same. He's, he's, he's not, he's not, he's, he's not normal. So far, the <laughs> yeah. first four games, the first, uh, yeah. first last season, exact same. Score two in this yeah. game, three in this game. One. But do you but see this now? No. Next game, game he's But do you yeah. see yeah. what so that man is? Yeah, yeah. So if you got me a team, triple, triple caps. Yeah, he eats. Bro, I, I, so I, I, you never lose. Because I, against against I fumbled that against Sheffield. Oh, yeah, triple captain in the one game he doesn't score, bro. I said, what the hell, man? Like, how are you going to do this to me? You're meant to wait for a double game week, bro. Every time I've done that previous years, I fumbled as well. But the thing is, he ain't a normal human being, though. Like, he don't really take no time. He eats livers and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's not eating human food, so. Yeah. He ain't human. It's fine. It's not a problem. No, no, I, I agree. What do you guys think of Doku, by the way? He looks good. He played. Like, yeah, he's he a good player. Like, do you know what the worst thing is, is? I didn't expect him to do as much defensively as he yeah. was well, doing as well. I was actually mm. quite surprised. Like, I was like, yeah, all right, they're going to. I think he gave us like one or two dribbles early on. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, that yeah, man yeah. said, we need to shut <laughs> this shit <laughs> down. No, no, but he <laughs> made, but, but <laughs> the funny thing is, guys up there, so you can get away with it. Listen, yeah. true, <laughs> you can get away with it. Comes back. Let me get as many of as yeah. I can. <laughs> it, it is true. It is true. That's, that's, that's as much as you can. He is going to be one of those. I feel, yeah. I said it last time I was here. I think Jack Grealish could be yeah. in trouble this year. Because if Alvarez yeah. keeps doing what he's doing on that side, Haaland smashing through the middle, that retention, yeah. recycling. Yeah. <laughs> It's not gonna run no more. Headbass is over, <laughs> bro. We say headbass is over, yeah. I even jumped on the bandwagon. What are you saying? It's over. Man. He's in trouble. <laughs> He's in trouble. If that boy Doku yeah. hits form, yeah, yeah. yeah. You but know I love. I love. Can Grealish not revert bro, back to what he was doing at Villa? The, 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 the fast Possibly, twitch yeah. thing that he does with his foot. I don't know who else is that 
agile. agile yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you lot can even name me a player that. I'm talking like fast twitch. <laughs> Liao's a little uh, bit mad like that sometimes. Oh, as well. Davis. Leroy, Leroy Sane? Leroy Sane? Does he still do that? He's more of like a gazelle, he, like he, a long stride. Yeah, but like even a, but he, he's got the ability to do that though. Uh, I'm just stop, just stop oh, 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 sorry. I know Faisal's screaming at the TV right now. Yeah. Vinny. 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 Yes, Vinny. Vinny. Vinny's like that. Mm. Yeah. That fast twitch, yeah. it just reminds me of that. So I'm hoping if he can yeah. harness his full ability, that's the final edition of what you can kind of become yeah, yeah, with yeah, Doku. Yeah, yeah. That's well, I think, a person that's yeah. not in trouble, obviously talking about Grealish is in trouble, a person that's not in trouble and has a bright future is my boy, Oscar Bob. Oi, came debut. on, mm. Norwegian kid. Mm-hmm. Um, unbelievable, perfor- like little cameo so he had. Little cool. yeah. Good player. <laughs> Midfield. Good player. I'm waiting for that video to come out from the video of him last year. He knows what happened. The weak foot challenge. He knows what yeah. happened. Oh, oh. Yeah, Oscar, you know what happened. But honestly, no. It didn't come out. Sometimes when videos don't come out, I'm like, what's going on? Timing is everything. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> nah, but what a player he is. And, yeah. and looks, listen, Norway's got a bright future. Oh, he's Norwegian, Oscar Bob, mm-hmm. Odegaard, Harlan. Mm-hmm. But um, he had a good cameo. Sergio Gomez had a good cameo. I was, he was one I was going to say. Another good player. People are forgetting. They there's going to be yeah, some yeah, of these yeah, yeah, youngsters yeah, yeah. who we're not used to seeing, I think, that are going to break through this year. Last mm. year, we saw kind of Rico Lewis, but. Yeah. City didn't go too crazy in, in the market, in, to be they honest. Replaced. They replaced. They replaced. One in, one out policy. Gomez is one that I'm looking mm-hmm. at. Last year, he showed flashes, but he's quick and he's got mm-hmm. an end product. I, I remember when they signed him, they were saying he was a left back. This guy's not a left. He's, a, he's like Chilwell. Yeah, yeah. Left, <laughs> like left a, forward yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, 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 let him sure. be dangerous up there. Yeah, and I think yeah. late in games, he can be almost like that. What yeah. Zinchenko was for them like, uh, previously, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you like. Is this an unprecedented fourth title? Raps, hundred percent record. The only Fourth in a row. Yeah, is this like it's looking like I've it already said early on by saying still, still they're favourites, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it's, it's a long, long yeah, season. Yeah, give up. Yeah, I've, I've said with City <laughs> till someone tells me they can take it off them, it's theirs. It's theirs. Mm-hmm. Like till someone can come in there and snatch it. And last year we saw Arsenal. Mm. Everyone, everyone apart from me and my brother here, <laughs> believed that it was going. We've there. never yeah, seen yeah, domination like this in Premier League. They win another one. They win another one. Never seen domination like this. And that's what Pep, I feel like, desires. Yeah, and, does, and he tells yeah. the players, look, we've done history. We can do more. Mm. And I feel like sometimes when you achieve history, it's almost like, ah, we're satisfied now. Yeah. I think he's trying to tell them, no, let's make it so scary. Almost like what Liverpool and Fergie, mm-hmm. uh, when he came in and said, nah, I'm not leaving till I eclipse them. Mm. Let's do that. By the time I've left Manchester, I want United in the City Gap. To be, to be yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we the quadruple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. Back back back. Imagine. <laughs> that would be crazy. Uh, that's that's, that's unprecedented. Yeah, at that point, it's just well. not fair. Yeah. Yeah. We have to, we have to, mm. the charges have to go through. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, that's Yo, the Everybody, that's that's everybody last, will be that's investigating. That's my last card. Yo, bro, I'm taking it. I gave up on the pitch. I'm looking, I gave it. The other pitch I gave up. I'm looking out for all these other external sources. 116, I'm dead. You know me, I'm going to be in the courtroom. What is it? What is it? We got a side. What is it? We got a side jury duty for that case. Oh, jury duty, guilty. <laughs> We're not even hearing it. I hear guilty. What about people, say, let's go. Let's let's let's, uh, let's, let's hear uh, the case. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty. Yeah. At that, at that point, really the guilty general guilty guilty public guilty. are getting involved. Where <laughs> people are remortgaging their houses to get involved in that in yeah, that pursuit. Like yeah. we must investigate. Yeah. And we yeah. need conclusions. But you know, City man, they're gonna come prepared. You don't remember that video? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. you do. It's a job. It's a job. The lawyers. <laughs> the lawyers. One, yeah. one thing that is interesting though, we have an analysis by a City fan. Where he he said um, our worst performance this season, but somehow the best goal difference. Not a single impressive performance for anyone in particular except Haaland and maybe Foden in glimpses. Yeah. Couldn't string passes together throughout the game. Maybe Grealish is more important than we think. It's mm. a City fan speaking. Mm. Nah, I don't. I think I think Doku, yeah, they shut him down early. I think Foden, I was pretty impressed with, to be fair. I think Haaland, the second half, as I said, that mm. was where the takeover mm. started to begin. If you like, the first half, you had Fulham doing their job, let's yeah. be honest. Like, mm. you got to give them credit They're resilient. Well at the end of the day, yeah. yeah. I think... I predicted City to go in there and storm over, but in the mm. second half, that's not happening yet. I think the teams are a lot, a lot more teams are now being a bit more brave with City. I've started to notice that this season. I think a lot of teams, if you look at the Sheffield as well, the performance. I think teams I are. I think that's the way forward. You go. Uh, you, you have, have to. to be. We're probably going to lose anyway. Yeah, yeah. So let's just go so for let's it. Let's not try to just yeah, back yeah, back let's Either we're going to yeah, get yeah, smoke. Yeah, yeah. Or we're gonna crash. Uh, on crash look on what happened yeah, with Newcastle. I think that's yeah. the way you got. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Newcastle was set to. up defensively at the Etihad, yeah. and they couldn't string two, three parts. They still lost. Mm. Like, like, what did you get yeah, from yeah, that? Yeah. No, just about. But speaking yeah. of Newcastle, they went away mm-hmm. to the Amex from right at the top of the country mm-hmm. to down south. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Champions League Newcastle, a team that you know, very very good, had a sh- good start to the season mm-hmm. as well. 
But when they came up against Mr. Top of the Morning to you, Evan Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> Hat trick. You're coming clutch with the, with the <laughs> access today, innit? I thought he was using he's the soundboard coming, or he's something. Right. He's coming clutch with the, innit? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's, no, no. hey, he's been practicing, though. <laughs> this brother's been practicing. He's going to pull out a pint of Guinness. He's been practicing. Hey, I am good. He's been practicing. Yeah. This one is a little. Let me take it. Let me take it. One more. Let him have one more. Third time's the charm. Let him have one more. Spanish today. Let him have one more. Okay, with everything. Young man's son. Hey, you can't, you can't with nah, today. The sun on you can't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You're down>. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little too excited. Um, but yeah, who would, I mean, this listen, was the three-one yeah. uh, to Brighton. Evan mm. Ferguson, wow, this is a statement game for him. Obviously, everyone already knew how good he was, but I mean, what have you not said? Deserve his managing him pretty well. It seems like not to start every game, yep. but now mm. he comes and he gets Newcastle as well, bro. By the way, this team had the best defensive record, mm. one of the best defensive yeah. records complete last season. Yeah. Yeah. Their attacking options. Three yeah. goals. Yeah, their yeah, yeah, their yeah. attacking options are nice. Mm-hmm. If Fatty can stay fit when he comes in in, in here, maybe Don't just call a little. Him that. mm-hmm. That's not nice. Huh? No, that's, I call him that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Fatty boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, hold, Ooh. hold. Even off the bench cameos, <laughs> little something, something. You know, you know, listen, you know, you're show by the seaside, brother. Like, man, it's so childish. Like, it's so childish. This guy is so childish. I was like, what? We can't monetize it. What? We can't monetize now because I said that. What are you doing? I was like, sorry, sorry, Sharky. I was like, hold a second on the podcast. I was like, right. Come on, man. They still sometimes they still use Welbeck. They, yeah. they still they still yeah. go back in time with Welbeck, but yeah. Jao Pedro, very yeah. impressed with him when I saw him in preseason. Yeah. Matoma, this is a team with Solly. Inciso Solly injured Mark, as well. Solly March. Big up Solly, man. The options here are- That's that gross DM, the not right back. Come on, yeah. right back. Yeah. Hey, listen, yeah. my brothers. Oh, I saw yeah, the yeah, last video. Man I saw the saying, last video. Hey, yo, I'll put him yeah. right back as well. But you know what it is with Brighton? Brighton, Newcastle, West Ham, Villa. These four teams, I'm watching them. Because they're so unpredictable. You can get great and you can get- Sometimes maybe good, yeah. sometimes mm. maybe shit. Yeah. They got battered by West Ham, and I'm not gonna lie, I took a little bit of yeah. pleasure in that because you yeah. know we got shafted and whatnot in the window, mm. and you know Bloom and all that stuff. Mm. But then I saw them against Newcastle. I was like, fair enough. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's like you have to hold your hands up. That club are run so well. So well. they will sell for 100 times the money mm-hmm. they paid, and they'll bring in somebody else that nobody knows of, and they'll put him in. Billy Gilmore, I'ma give him his flowers right now. Oh, he was yeah, at my club. Your boys. He was at my club. I said it, Billy Gilmore, he's a very, very tidy, good player. Mm. He's good enough to be playing. Roy Keane was waxing lyrical about him in his first two oh, games for Chelsea. Bro. He mm. was almost bringing him to tears on Sky Sports. I ain't mm. never seen such emotion from this man. We let him go. I was like, do you know yeah. what? Fine. Unbelievable player. Watch, he will be back. And he's back now. He come into that midfield replaced, mm-hmm. and he's just looking. I ain't even really seen right. Dahoud yet, have we? Yeah. Uh, apart yeah, from yeah, I, mean, so well. I thought this yeah. game was gonna be like the Isaac Ferguson number nine to number <laughs> yeah. nine, and mm-hmm. can't lie. Yeah. Our brother didn't Someone turn up, that. man. It's a money, but like, machine like that, for machine, that, that, that gunshot that game, for gunshot. Was Isaac was not there, huh? man. That game he was ever trained. Yeah, no, that's money. That was money. That game that's the Swedish one. 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 That's the Newcastle because um, it's like the performance okay, I don't against take City, a, yeah, yeah, Liverpool, and then Liverpool, mm, yeah, and then now Tough against games. Brighton, and those Tough are games. in and around teams that they yeah. should be competing yeah. around. Let's be honest, they're in the group of death. Can I remind They're in you? the group of death in the mm-hmm. Champions it's League, not so it's not going to get any easier. No, for sure. But is this kind of like a bit of a wake nah, up call for them? This is the thing. I think you see. Okay, so it's coming back. I'm not, I don't want to bring it back to United, but it's a thing where there's certain games this season that. Other teams will drop points. So other teams are gonna, other big teams are gonna drop points against Brighton. Away. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Same way what I said to you with United dropping points at Spurs. The way you're playing, a lot of big teams will drop points to you guys. So it's, mm. it's that's not enough for you to panic. Tick for tack. Yeah, it's not enough. Like if you lo- if 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 they lost three one to like Luton, mm. yeah, then you're thinking, whoa, question marks have to be asked. Why did that go wrong? So wrong. But Brighton are a good team. Yeah, they play good football. It's, there's no shame in losing to a team like Brighton. Do you know what I mean? Don't, you're going to have games like that. So that's why I feel like, and, and it's going to happen even with Newcastle. There's going to be yeah. times where Tottenham might go up to Newcastle and you're going to drop points then. Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? I'm not right, saying that's going to happen, whoa, whoa, whoa. but I'm drop saying points. that you could, you could, gonna say no, but I'm saying, you, could drop, you could drop points there. Do you know what I'm trying to say to yeah. you? But that doesn't mean necessarily mean what it's you're doing. World, yeah. What you're doing is, 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 is awful all of yeah. a sudden. Do you know what I mean? It's just that 
the Premier League, especially in that top half, is so tough that anyone could lose to anyone. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's, and like, if you look at the goals, it's not enough to panic. Do you know like, what I mean? Yeah, Pope mistake for the yeah. first one, but yeah. it was almost uncharacteristic. Was yeah. my thing? Uh, yeah. Pope mistake for the first oh, one. No. The second no, no, one. No, no, you're saying uncharacteristic. To you. I'm starting to see something. Like, no, listen, he's never, had, he's never had the ball yeah, play. Yeah, he's never had the ball play. Let's be honest. Let's see. But Pope, though. Obviously, he's he's a very good goalkeeper. He's a very good goalkeeper. Like, and I've been, for Newcastle, he's been solid. But yeah. I thought that that situation at Liverpool was a blip. I thought that was a little, a little blip that happens here and there. Okay, you, you whatever, man. You, yeah, that, yeah, it yeah, happens yeah, here. Yeah. You, can, you can have those crazy moments, whatever. Yeah, brain thoughts. I'm starting to see that more often. Now. The game against uh, 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 Brighton, not to take anything away from Eric Ferguson, he scored a hat trick. Mm-hmm. Big day for him. Teenager, like, amazing. But a lot of it was down to. Paul goalkeeping. I'd, I'm only saying the first one was down to Paul goal. I, I think, think the yeah. second, the one. second and the third was good finish. Bro, I, I think the second one was similar to the Madison. Hello, no, 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 but long shot. The defense no, part no, like no, the no, red no, seat. No, no, <laughs> Where did yeah. Sharon no, 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 run no, off? No, no, I hear it. I hear it. And he had acres of space to go pick up the ball and turn around and shoot. But if I'm a goalkeeper and my centre backs, they wanted they wanted to say you can see. No, no, he better go Oliver Kahn. No, I hear it. But my thing is, you've seen that from. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they opened seen, up so he you, could see. You've seen that from distance. They were trying to it's help. It's almost like, as a goalkeeper, that's kind of like, you you want to be able to see those shots coming. And mm. he had, he's seen that from a distance. Yeah. I feel like you should be sort of prepared. Prepared. Even the way he opened up his body, you know where he's going. Yeah. yeah. You know he's going to put it into that far corner. So it's like, you should, as a goalkeeper, should be prepared. I think it's too easy. It's way I think too easy. it's a combination of great finish and then... Yeah, I agree. Good finish as well, of course. No, no. Uh, as, as we're talking about Evan Ferguson right now, and obviously Nick Pope <laughs> would potentially a couple of errors in that game. You even said you'd yeah. rather sign Evan Ferguson than Hoyland. Yeah, you know? for sure. And this is proving your case even more. Sure. And he would have spent more money for Evan Ferguson, oh, you said, than he sure. spent for Hoyland. For sure. For sure. sure. Right. I, I, like I said, I've never seen a forward have be that complete and that strong and that confident since probably Wayne Rooney. I've never seen a striker like that. Yeah, I said, no, for sure. I said, if the, Since uh, Wayne Rooney, you've been tweeting I about mean, him a lot. Yeah. You, you Bro, trying to get him. The second episode I yeah. came on this pod, I yeah. remember you lot asked me, oh, Harry Kane could be leaving in the summer. Yeah. I think I it's too late. There's a dream replacement. It's Evan Ferguson. I remember sure. at the time he was just breaking through. I was like, mm. profile wise, if you look at it, he's got, he's the complete forward. Mm-hmm. I said, and then you, Think of the room for growth mm-hmm. under a good coach in a good system. I said, forget about it. And then now you give, obviously, the Zerbi and Brighton. Yeah, is new contract as well. So you're yeah. you're stay, only going to see 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. No, for, no, for, 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 no, for, no, no, for the, his development, for sure, he's at the right place. I, yeah. know, I think he should stay there till he's maybe like 22, 23. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Five years even, he should yeah. be staying there because he'll be the man. But if this was Sir Alex Ferguson, Oh, facts. Oh, all this over was Sir Alex. Care. Oh, he, he want to sign him. But this I think summer, Ferguson, Ferguson would have got, no, Ferguson Ferguson got Kane. He would have came to his house and said, you're coming this to sign Ferguson would have got Kane. Yeah. 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 Harry That's Kane and Ferguson, Ferguson yes. would have yes. both, both been United. United. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Double for announcement. Sure. I'm for sure. <laughs> yeah. that, those two I look at and I'm like, yeah, you've got Fergie signing written all over. Can I just can I just preface? You see, when you go to Brighton, yeah, just remember the price. Yeah. When you go to Ferguson, listen, if they're charging that much for tackles and interceptions, yeah. you better be ready for no, that no, no, price said, for Ferguson. S- it's going to be astronomical. No, and the inflation, bro. yeah, listen, yeah, it's long. You're not ready for that's that price. That's why I said, that's why Pay I it. said, yeah? Pay this, don't summer, speak. this summer, before the season started, I would have, like, and I said it, I wasn't joking, I would have chuffed up 100 M really? plus add-ons, yeah? get him now. Yeah? yeah. Because two seasons from now, you're <laughs> looking at 250. Agree. Fully agree. You're looking at 200 to Fully 250. Agree. Can I just say though, yeah, when you put crazy. 100 million price tag on yeah. his head at his, at his age, do you think that's a good idea? Like, do you think the pressure, the lights, Manchester Brosky. United, it look, look, we pay, might him, play a we part, pay no? 30 no? million for Wayne Rooney, first I know game, that. Champions League, hat Dog. trick. Yeah, Dog. Dog. Like Dog. some players just have it. Okay. Okay. For that. He's, he's, he's that guy, yeah? He's got that guy. Okay, he's got that. I think he can be. Couple quiz questions. I was on this exciting game. Obviously, Evan Ferguson, uh, has now been directly involved in 10 plus Premier League games, mm-hmm. at a, uh, goals at the age of 18 or under. Who's the other Premier League player in history who has been directly involved in 10 plus Premier League goals by the age of 18 or under? Michael. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, uh, no it was being Phil Walker. It's what? Oh, non English. Michael would have been in English. Oh, sorry, it's oh, not English. Oh. Oh. English. No, no, you're right, Michael, but non English. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> Evan Ferguson and one other non English. In the Premier League. Oh, in the Premier League. Oh, I thought you just said in general. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, in the Premier League. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he enjoyed that. I thought you said in general, so I didn't hear that. So I, 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 I yeah, let me say it. 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 Only two non English players have been yeah. directly involved in 10 plus Premier League goals by the age of 18 on. Ferguson, one of them, because he's Irish or Northern Irish. Which one is he? Irish or Northern Irish? Irish. No offense to Irish, but I don't know which one he's. One other player uh, in Premier League history that's non-English. 
under the age 18 or under 10 plus, 10 plus Premier League Nicholas goals. Nicholas and Elk? Yeah, something, uh, that was no, something I think head. we signed him by like 19 or something. Yeah, I by thought maybe the age season. of 18. Yeah, Ferguson's 18 and he's already got 10 plus Premier League goals. That's only one other player that's ever done Bob that. Tat. Yeah, that's not English. Is it a bait one? Yeah, yeah. Like he's was playing big Premier name. League under 18. It has to be a big name, isn't it, to do that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're game. mashing work at 18, bro. In the yeah, Premier League, you, you must. Aguero got 10 direct 19, goal. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think who was Raheem playing. Seven? No, it's a good shot. That's though. a great oh, shot. Non English. Non English. That's not a great shot. He's stuck at his English. Non English. English. Non -English. <laughs> the viewers might know by now. No one knows. I'm going to say it. French. I'm going to say it. Actually, I'm before I say I'm going to narrow it down. Spanish. Quick. Spanish. Yes. Fabregas. There you go, Cesc That's Fabregas. That's the one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Cesc Fabregas. Fabregas. He's balling out at 17. And remember, he was playing yeah, that second striker role. He was playing role. 16, he was yeah, playing against yeah, yeah. Vieira. Yeah, 16, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he had the freedom to just go oh, wherever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good company, though. That's a good company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and even more, even another question that also involves him in some good company. There's been six occasions when an 18-year-old has scored a Premier League hat-trick. Okay. Um, one, two... Ferguson's one of them, obviously. Wayne Rooney. Michael Owen. Michael Owen's been three of them. Yeah. That's four. Robbie Fowler. Wayne Rooney. Robbie Fowler's one. Wayne Rooney's not there? There's one more occasion. I feel like I'm a mastermind right now. Did I say Wayne Rooney's there though? Huh? Wayne Rooney's not there? No, no, no. 18, let's go hat trick in front of Just look, okay. You're not gonna get this one. No. You've got everyone. Hey, 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 hey. Is it Phil Walker? Some old school brother in 94, innit? Hey! I know it! You watched the line. Hey, you're not helping your case, you know, your old, your old case. Yeah, it was your birthday the other day. This is you. Did he win? Did he win? How did he Did he win the. Is it Phillips? Nah, bro, no. you don't won't know it. You don't definitely Do you know it though? It's, it's a prehistoric one. If I hear, see the name, I'll remember it. That's crazy. It's dude. one I've of those like, you know, I don't know the player, but I've seen his name on this chart many a times. Uh, who does he like play for? The, is it Derby? No. I don't know where he's got the hat trick for, but he played Derby or Preston, for, I think. He played for Lady Dorian, Sheffield Wednesday, Nottingham Forest. I think that's maybe one of those two. Nottingham Wednesday, Forest, I think. I think it might have been Wednesday. Yeah, it might have been Nottingham Forest. Um, yeah, yeah I, Dublin, I don't know. No, no, no. His name is... Chris Bart Williams. Yeah, no, never gonna. I ain't, I ain't, is that a guy you? Bart Williams. Bart Williams, yeah. Bart Williams was. Never, never, not getting that. Never getting that. Sounds like some football it? manager generated name or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bart Williams. Uh, uh, I never know. I would never know. That. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I just want to add those couple of quick questions. I know that's your time. That's why. If you know. guys got it, let us know. <laughs> if you got Bart Williams, or if you're watching and uh, your dad might know it, ask him that question. See if he knows it. Um, but yeah, Newcastle might be in trouble. That's three losses in a row now for them. I've seen some question marks on Eddie Howe. Is it too soon? Way too soon for that. Way yeah, too crazy. On, man. You gotta appreciate the work he's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he did is crazy. I agree. I agree. Uh, we actually have analysis by a Brighton fan who always gets involved called Tactical Regista. Very good friend of ours. Uh, he said, "Feels like this is a weekly statement at this point, but the field tilt was mostly dominated by Brighton. Uh, there was a lot of attacking threat in the first half. However, Brighton created less in the second and were able to cruise through after Ferguson scoring. Newcastle should have nullified Brighton's threat with a deep." block and utilizing the traditional uh, transitional threat like West Ham did. Uh, Brighton returned to their start of the season form after the West Ham game and will need to get used to some of these big games with difficult schedule and European nights upcoming. Mm. It's true, man. But Aye. well played to Brighton. Another big win for you guys. It's Obviously, first game off the West Ham break is against Brighton. Is it? Yes. Yeah, so oh, you you're well home or away? Huh? We're home though, but it, it's, it's still a tough game. Still. Techie, yeah. To be fair, at home, we do quite well against Brighton actually. I remember yeah, that was but time. away from home, baby. School in Pogba. Yeah. I feel like some nightmares. 14, 15 teams in this league, every, they're all techie games. It's yeah. only like there's a few where you're like, okay, Luton, Everton, Wolves, Sheffield United. Sheffield United. Yeah, yeah. But the yeah, rest, no, it's true. even Bournemouth away. I'm Generally, scared. I'm scared. Like, <laughs> outside City, and obviously next best is Arsenal. Mm. Any fixture in the Premier League, and obviously minus Luton and maybe. And, Sheffield United. Any yeah. other fixture in the Premier League? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at any. Th yeah, yeah. Any yeah, 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 yeah. Team winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I had the team yeah. winning, which is crazy. That's is that mean the does that mean the Premier League is a bit weaker now or stronger? I don't know. In the I was top asking that last week. Remember? Yeah, I was saying like yeah. I think the top half there's more quality, but in the maybe final third mm. there's not as much you would say. But I think that's because you take out Southampton and Leicester, who were almost like. Good quality Main Premier League yeah. yeah. You've replaced it with so a, 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 a Luton Sheffield, and a Sheffield, Sheffield where yeah. it's mm. never going to be the same quality. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're right. Uh, but let's move on now to Anfield and Liverpool have beaten Aston Villa 3-0. Mm. Uh, Liverpool are doing well. For Wizzy's mm. already claiming that their league's coming to Anfield, <laughs> which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, Liverpool win 3-0. Um, they're now unbeaten in each of the last 15 Premier League games now. 
unbeaten. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Salah's been directly involved in a goal in 11 consecutive Premier League games. Uh, Trent has now provided 55 Premier League assists in 202 games. That's more than Ozil, Hazard and Matt. What a player, by the way. Mm. What a player. One quarter from right back. But 55 I assists, no. Premier League assists in 202 games. Like yeah, I said, a quarter. Nuts. That's crazy. A quarter of his games, he's got an assist. That's mad. Wow. It's wild. He's That's literally more than Ozil has on him out. Yeah, which are made to create. Mm. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> he's changing. He's changing the game. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. He's mad. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's when you deep it. It's actually stupid. Yeah, yeah, silly, silly. But but also, I have to give Liverpool credit. I don't think in every single one of these games in the league so far this season, I've been necessarily always impressed because mm -hmm. there's the signings have been very late. Endo coming very late. Graven Birch not involved in this game. But for Liverpool to have Newcastle away with ten men for seventy minutes, Aston Villa at home. We've seen the squad, the investment. They had a lot of injuries, to be fair. No Ramsey, etc. And Chelsea away. And to have 10 points out of 12? It's fair. fair, yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. very like, mm. okay, that's very impressive mm. because the fixtures, they can't really get much harder. Do you know what I mean? Like that is right. a tough start. Yeah. So no, nah, they've they've performed. And yeah. today they, walk, they walked through Villa, man. I was disappointed in Aston Villa. It was bit. almost, yeah, that's what mm. I feel. It was almost like a cakewalk for them. Yeah. Like you thought Anfield at home. But to follow that off the back of, I think is important the big win last week where you kind of had to show that character and recovery. Yeah. And now it's like, all right, are we going to do that once a week where when the chips are down? Nope. Follow that up with consistency. And I yeah. feel like you have to do that. But for me, Darwin Nunes ate well that game as well. First start, I think, what was it? The second goal, he hit the post and mm. Matty Cash scored the own goal. Mm. But time and time again in that Villa defence. I was going to say, what about the great power Torres that, you, that Faisal was a talking about? A big hole like. <laughs> that was just constantly <laughs> emerging and <laughs> eroding <laughs> as time went on. And Faisal sat here last week talking about, you know, centre-backs don't need to defend. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It's not about defending. Now I was like a he said, I was like, the first thing you need to do is defend. And he's like, nah, nah. He went, nah. <laughs> so, you know what? You know what? That's so crazy. Why would he, he say that? You know what? I know. I find that so crazy as well. <laughs> he's thinking his butt. No, but no way. He supported a club, yeah, that, that has defend. Sergio Ramos and yeah. Pepe, Pepe as yeah. a centre back. So Real I'm men like, FC. Yeah. Mm. Those are the and then for him to come out and say you don't need centre backs to play, it's, it's wild to me. But yeah, that's another story. Crazy, still. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. So, to so me. it was obviously, I think it was just like some La Liga favouritism. Of course, hundred for sure, like, for sure. Signing from La Liga, the Prem fans are obviously going to write him off. Let me give him some backing, <laughs> so at least you know <laughs> if he does come well. I was there first yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> we, know Basil, we know your game, man. Okay. Bro, I, am familiar, I am familiar with your game. Anybody Basil, I am familiar with your game. Time after time, people are saying, oh, how many times have we watched? Yeah. Not that many, trust me. Yeah. But the few times I have seen him, every time I'm like, yo, that's barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. You Bodies. get a physical striker yes. on that, that's barbecue chicken. When I see Ivan Tony, when I see Watkins, when I see Darwin in, in Nunes, Buemo next. go and watch the mm. second goal. Al Torres says, I don't want no pieces of this. Darwin <laughs> just had a free run open yeah, to go. Yeah. And I said, time off time. Today, even the passing was off. Mm. But I said, this guy is going to need to stand up and be counted in this league mm. and actually defend if he wants to actually succeed. Mm. Because he's coming into Villa as a big marquee centre-back signing of Villa. He's meant to be a level raiser. You know what we were talking about? Yeah. Havertz isn't that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're coming into Villa, they're looking at you like, oh, Champions League sure. semi-finalist, yeah. Spain international, no, come, come on, raise the level. Yeah, facts. And Emery no, knows him as well. He's one yes. of your guys. You've got the relationship with the yeah. coach as well. So mm -hmm. there should be no excuses. For me, I want better. Mm -hmm. So Faisal, every week, Pal Torres your neck. is yeah. dropping a stinker. <laughs> we will be there. Yeah, we will be <laughs> no there. No matter what. <laughs> and this is one of those. Do, do we yeah, it was just so funny that how, uh, right on the uh, next game after, the... everyone's on the time like, yo, Fuad? Right, you know, I was like, hey, real men, Recognize real, real men. men. Mm. Okay. <laughs> but I like that one. I like that one. I like that it's one. the exact type of centre back he hates. Yeah, yeah. He wants the real dogs. I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm with him. I've always said uh, defenders have to defend first. Facts. But what and, about and the combination you know what, of being able to defend and have the ball? Like a Saliba. I, no, no, but his thing. That's a good, that's, that's you what must what like Saliba no, then. No, I love Saliba. But Saliba and can defend. It both. annoyed yeah, me yeah, last yeah. week when he did the nah. He yeah. tried to double it up with a Laporte comparison. Oh. Say like, Laporte can defend. Laporte can defend. <laughs> Laporte can defend Rolls bro. Royce Saliba can defend. Mm. Can Gabriel defend. can. Gabriel's actually more of a dog. Yeah, he's saying. more of a dog. But he yeah. can do the ball. He's play. the aggressor. I always say I have ball playing is a bonus. You gotta have both. If you it's can a balance. Do that, that's but do your primary job is, first. But this isn't it's the same, like it's the same with rocket um, science. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's, not, it's Christiansen it's not. and Rudiger. The balance. That's my, my thing yeah. with, with the whole um, team. You look at yeah. their centre back pairing. It's one that's a a, a Puyol, mm. a PK, mm. a Bonucci, a Barzagli, mm. uh, or, or Cellini, if you yeah. like. It's always the Terry Carvalho. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad you said that because the Varane agenda that I always see is it's the cool touch, again. And it's the balance. Exactly. Yes. Like you need the balance. You can't. Everything can't just be about ball playing, ball playing. Varane, yes, fair enough. He's not the strongest. 
on the ball. He's not the strongest, mm-hmm. but what he does defensively, mm. I don't think there's many centre backs in the world yeah. that are as are that are better than him at defending mm. in terms of reading, reading, reading situations, tackling, just having that. People presence. wanted Kim and Jay like, though, innit? That's yeah, what it course, was. No, yeah, Kim, Kim and Jay. Oh. Of course, he he, he would have been he a when he's younger. Like yeah. you know, he would have pushed. He would have pushed our team, but like. Varane for me, Varane. <laughs> there's a reason why Varane. A real What's going on over there? there you he gets excited listen. about defense. No, 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 this is a defender right here. That's oh. why he's a defender. You want some water? He's a defender. Yes, he's <laughs> going. <laughs> he gets yes, he's going, bro. Bro, did you see Tuchel's face when he saw him? He's like, yeah. I understand. Come, I understand. Yeah. understand. Bro, yeah. if you lot got Kim and Jay, yeah. it would have been a wrap. Yeah. It would that would have, have unleashed Dallow, I think, on that round. Like, well, like I said, Ben Dallow, he hasn't been able. Well, that's another whole discussion. But he hasn't been able to get the people that he but wants. Yeah. But do we feel like? Hasn't been able to get the people do we feel like Emery went so. too defensive because he went with the three centre backs, Konza, yeah. two two wing backs? He didn't. He didn't start I Bailey. He barely come off the bench. With the injuries. He's possibly trying a few things. Mm. And I think what Mings works. and Paul Torres could work. Two actually, Lefers. I think that could work. You know, I, I always ask this as well. Why yeah. can't two left footers? Yeah, why not? Why not? Right bro, it's just, I, I, it just don't work. It just doesn't matter. Don't, don't ask. That's don't like ask. The, I don't know. That's like, know. The, I, that's I like, the, that's like <laughs> saying <laughs> the, uh, the, the other myth as well. Like, it's like uh, left footers. You can't play pens. two black centre backs. You know how to run? You know how to run? We were in one. You can't have two black centre backs. Invincibles. Campbell and Torrey. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, 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 hey, well, let's be real, man. One was it was a uh, fish and chips and uh, egg and uh, egg and beef for breakfast. The other one is straight fufu. <laughs> yeah, fufu. Turn off rice. Turn off. Yeah, it, it, it works. It it's balances. A balance. There's, There's a good balance. balance. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a good balance there. Yeah. We have to check yeah, their so cuisines. That one, that one, that one can slide. That one can slide. Okay. That one can slide. Okay. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Egg and beef. Egg and beef and toast. Go oh, like you know that. That's not like, Somali thing. Nah, like, yeah. Fish and chips. <laughs> fish and chips. <laughs> fish and chips. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, G. But yeah, I don't, Sunday roast. I don't know. I just yeah. don't like two left footed centre backs. I don't like a left footed right back, but I could do a right footed left back. That's yeah. fine. This is, this That's is another one. one. Never. Never. Right back. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. would you yeah. say yeah. their best? Oh, to be fair, they have Diego you know Carlos as well. I think it's because yeah. left they have Diego Carlos as well. To be fair, ambidextrous. That's that's what it is. Rights can use their lefties, but. But because that's more left footers are more rare. So when they're coming through the academy, it's like, wow, you're left footed. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, you yeah. must do. Left yeah. wingers as well. They can't use their right foot. Anthony doesn't use his right. Iron Robin, same. Because they're so rare. Left yeah, footers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left footers, I'm always like, yo, it goes one or two ways. You've either got a yeah. demon left yeah. foot, yeah. or you've just... You, 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 and right yeah, foot is one of the unfortunate ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One <laughs> foot that is a downfoot. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone's right foot, it's like, you better work on your left. Otherwise yeah. you might not make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's true, but going back to Liverpool, clean sheet, three goals, very impressive. Mohamed Salah obviously had the transfer uh, saga. <clears throat> well, I mean, the, the window's still open in Saudi yeah. for another week or so. So Seven. it might go, you never it's, know. It's close for Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but <laughs> he's like, he's, no. so far he stayed. Yeah. Uh, he's scored or assisted in 10 consecutive Premier League games right now. Yeah. And he's the first player to do that since Mohamed Salah. Mm. And he did that uh, in, <laughs> uh, between August and December 2021. He did okay. it in 15 games in a row. So right now he's, in 10 yeah. ga- he's on 10 games. Even when he's not, you know, going At crazy, it. he's mm. still every... Si- 10 games in a row right now. He's yeah. either scored or assisted. Mm-hmm. I really hope His he pass stays. for well, Nunes the other day was... Well, man. I don't know why I did that. He took him out. Salah's took him cash out. money. Oh, he's yeah, expensive yeah, though. Yeah, so expensive, makes, yeah. I've, I've been thinking to take him out or not, but yeah, I've still, yeah, I kept, I still kept him. You, you had a good week. Yeah, yeah. At the end of this, at the end of this, we're going to talk about FBI. I hope Salah stays this year and rejects any kind of advances. He has to. But I'm hearing, the money I'm hearing, bro, is But the bag will still be there next 200 M's to Liverpool. I get it. I get it. But and I worry that FSG might buckle. That that that's, is a lot of money yeah, though. That's, they that's, that's a, lot a lot of money where and I think they'd be like, get hey, it, take it now. We, we yeah. pack it fifty. No, <laughs> take it now. The attacking options they have is they have so much attacking players. They've got the best none on the right. Wait till January. Then January. Yeah, but, yeah, but you can on the right. It would be like Elliot and Saka. Doc. Yeah. Will take start coming for Saka then. 200 M. 200 M. 200 M. I don't think I don't think it'll go. No, no. I saw Arsenal fans saying 200 M. Saka. He cost 200 mil though. Yeah. One M. 200 mil. Arsenal fans. 200 M. And you and Sharky accept Saka. In my head, that's my release clause for him. 200 M's, okay. I, really? I don't want him to go, but what can I say? We've got 200 M's. Mm. And if we invest it properly. Because remember, hold on. Remember there was that video of Arsenal fans like, <laughs> yeah. would you have the title or Saka? And they were like, I'm keeping Saka. Saka, yeah. Saka looking at with all teary eyes. I agree. I agree. <laughs> if yeah. it's now you're saying, would Untouchable. I? Untouchable. But 200 million? No. If we invest, reinvest it properly, it could be better for the club. Mm. Mm. You could bail it up though. No, no one's, I think no one's, um, what do you call it? For me, that's my price. No, no one's untouchable. That's no what I'm saying. Yeah. No one's untouchable. You've like, seen, seen Harry Kane, see, bro. You've seen Harry Kane. Yeah. Harry Kane is more yeah. important for Spurs than Saka yeah. is for Arsenal. Because mm. yeah. I think we start, Odegaard's, I think, our key player. 
Mm-hmm. You know, Saka's our star boy. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I agree. And I love Saka's Saka. Like Saka. The face no, no, you're right. No, you're right. You're right. Oh, the most, most, no, 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 you're right. So you're right, Harry you're right, Kane right. is was yeah, more yeah, important yeah. for Spurs than Saka is for Arsenal. Harry yeah. Kane's the greatest player ever. Saka's our best, our favorite player now. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. So if they if they can lose Kane and do really well, yeah. we can, and then you get two hundred million for Saka. So ro- do you know what though? I like it. It's prime box. It's like actually Cole, William Gallas. I need somebody to be a traitor in their club. And also, waiting. And also, I'm used to this. We've lost our best player every year. For like for like when I was between send them to us. Fifteen to twenty. This is what we. Oh, definitely not. Send them to us. This is what we definitely do. Actually, we're familiar. This is what we do. 500 mil, I wouldn't send them to you This is what we do. 500 M's, I wouldn't send them to Chelsea. Yeah. Ooh, they'll ruin them. I just think Salah will play my left back. This year. <laughs> <laughs> to get back to the levels of Salah's use. I yeah. feel like last year, it was almost like a little dip year. Mm. 2023 ain't been a He's great year. He's got numbers. Yeah. Still got numbers, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But I feel like, well, I think playmaking wise last yeah, year, yeah, yeah. he stepped up stepped a level. Up for sure. But I think I want to see Salah get back to peak Fino. I don't think no, one last run. We mm. don't have that in him no more. I don't if so. he but doesn't, it's, it's Nunes yeah. the that's wrong where they should have cashed cash in. No, I, now, I, don't, if yeah. I believe there yeah. still is that, which is why I'm, when you say like ten goals, he's contributing in the last thing. I, I think he'll surprised. do double double. So I think he will get double goals, double digits assists, double digit ten goals. Plus, ten plus, 17, ten plus, ten plus. 17. But I don't think he will get like the goal scoring numbers that he used to get. I don't think he's got that in him anymore. If, I don't think he's got a twenty no. plus. I, f- I don't think he's got a twenty plus. I think if anymore. Gapo plays yeah, up front, I don't think so maybe. Anyway. But if yeah. Nunes is up there, that's where he's more yeah, the yeah, provider. Right, right. That pass against Newcastle, where he just. You know why I say that though? That's yeah. kind of his role now yeah, is to, yeah. to Fac- provide, exactly. yeah. facilitate. He, because he's experienced role, as well. A lot of those yeah, attackers yeah. are new. So for confidence, they need the goals, they mm. need the knee slides, you right. know, opportunities to score. For him, it's like, mm. bro, you are the talisman. I need you to almost like be the, um, I don't want to say messy, but I'm going to say messy. At the end of his career, where it was like, I'm going to be a team player and I'm going to provide mm-hmm. for you, I'm going to assist, I'm going to play that. Oh. I'm not thinking about the stats, I'm not That's thinking not about him. The, no, but no, but I'm not he, had, he, but he can play that part though. But I think he's naturally no, but he's not. He can play the part. Naturally, he's he's progressed into that direction because if you look at and I think the reason for that is because of the fact that they lost Mane and now they lost Firmino. I think yeah. before it was the other way around. Yeah. They were the that were sort yeah. of being the team players for, for him. him. Yes, yeah. I think now because you've got Darwin Nunes, who's obviously a big money um, signing. He's he needs the striker. He needs goals for his ego, for, yes. his, for his self-confidence. Yeah. I think Salah, I think like recognises that now. And I think naturally he's sort of declined. Whether we accept or not, he's declined a he's little not what bit. He used to be, yeah. He's not what he used to be, but he's still at a good level. Yeah. Good level. Very to high at least, level, yeah. Yeah, get you what you like goals and assists in games. And I think that's why now he looks more like a facilitator Rather than the main man, that shot from Sabozla yeah. as well. There's goals around yeah. this team. Can we speak on him a little bit? Controlled yes, because yeah, yeah. I, I I was a big that's fan a of him when he was in the Bundesliga. Tech, I think as well there was a, like almost misconception that he's just you know dead yeah. ball specialist yeah, yeah, yeah. or just a, a shooter if you nah, like. Nah, but nah. bro, the guy is a dribbler, close control. There was one moment where it felt like he almost had like five six man yeah, around and him, and he just like yeah yeah yeah. I said that. And this ain't the only game he's done that. I remember his first touch in like the first game. He just took the ball and just ran past like four five man. I'm just like bro, this guy is actually could be one of the signings of the season. I said when we were doing the preview, but pound for pound, I think he's just gonna provide so much of that midfield. I think the everyone was expecting McAllister to come in as the to be that guy. Thirty five million the Premier League, but I think Sobosla is actually gonna be the big needle mover. And where you're saying. Salah's kind of floating in a little bit more, being the creator just behind Nunes, if you mm. like, or a Gakpo. Yeah. I think Sobosai is almost taking advantage. Him and Trent yeah, are yeah, yeah. doing these double ups and triple ups with Salah on that side. And I yeah. said, if they can overload as much as they can, bro, that's a deadly trio there. Sure. But I worry that there's still going to be kind of deficiencies in when Trent goes forward and things mm. like that. Graven Birch coming in, is he going to be kind of converted into a six now? Because I loved him when he was at Ajax, but, mm. but he, he wasn't a six. He not, wasn't a six. Bro, his Ajax last wasn't. year, he declined. And then yeah. he went to Bayern and I feel like he's declined yeah, even yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you're going to basically revolutionize this player in a new league. Yeah. So, and then you've got Endo is the other alternative. So mm-hmm. I think at some point, I think it's good that Liverpool are getting this kind of build up early on mm-hmm. because it could get sticky at some point. Yeah. You hope that their attack is so good it that kind of builds them yeah, out. Yeah, 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 I think sure. that's what they're going to rely heavily yeah, on. The Graver Birch one, for his age and, and obviously his potential, I understand it, but like, I'm with you in terms of, I don't know how he fits into that team. He would have been perfect for you. Bro. That's what I'm so saying. Far, but, but they should have got Amrabat, you should have got Graver No, no, Birch. that's where, okay, so that's yeah, where I'm like, that's where I'm like, slow down there, buddy there, brother. But as in, they needed someone like Amrabat more than you needed because you had Casemiro, but we need Amrabat because Amrabat, Amrabat's not a destroyer. Like, I know how people have seen me as a destroyer. You know, people have that one video of his head, World Cup. 
back. And so I didn't see Mbappe. Yes. Mbappe. No, yeah. but the guy is very comfortable at receiving the ball from the centre backs. Yeah. He yep. can drive with the ball. He can play very good passes. He's got range in his game. I can get goals as well. You need that. So you, that's what we're missing. I mean, Ericsson is good. He's the all round midfielder. He's the mm. all round midfielder that we need. He's that midfielder. Well, action, I feel I like he that. is the, mi- the type of profile that we're missing in midfield. Before, he links. It, we probably have the worst midfield in the league. I always say that. In terms of balance, in terms of profiles, we have probably the worst collection of midfielders. Yeah. Amrabat coming in gives us a bit of balance. Is he like a... Gives us a I, I, I mean, I've not yeah. watched lots of Amrabat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw him in the World Cup, though. You saw yeah, a lot of him in yeah, the World Cup. Of course, of course. Yeah. But I'm international football. Ziyech was of course, mad in the World course, Cup. But <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see I ain't never seen a Ziyech yeah, in my saying, life. Because he's an all-round midfielder. Is he yeah. someone like a Bruno Gamares? He's an all-round midfielder mm, to me. Mm. I mean, he's, he, everything um, you described. He I don't think do. they're the same, mm. but like... Closer to Tanali. Closer, closer. Yeah. I would say closer to Tanali more than I would say Bruno. Bruno G. Yeah, but uh, or even even hybrid. Wait, I can say even maybe it's slightly a hybrid, a slight hybrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I like that one. Bruno G. Do you know who's trying to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You all hate. Yeah, yeah. I like that one. I like it. You, you right, but I like what you're saying. That's it. Listen, hey, I'm about. We need to talk, man. I'm about PR team right there. Come on, man. Come on, man. But let's say best of stocks now, man. Best of stocks now. Let's say from Femi. The Liverpool fan, uh, he said Salah again proved why he's a priceless asset of ours with a neat tap in, oh, with a neat tap in of Nunes knocked down at the corner, at a corner. His interchangeability and attack, along with his playmaking, which is massively underrated, uh, are just two of the reasons why he's so crucial in the size, which is why we must not sell him. Uh, Trent and McAllister in midfield dictated the game. Trent's passing over the top of Villa's high line was ridiculous. It allowed us to unlock the speed and directness of the front three, which was how we got the second goal. Nunes unlucky to the post, but thankfully Cash knocked it in. Mm. Fair play six, to Liverpool. Six. Three no was a perfect hey, result. You know, they're flying, like I said, 10 points from 12. Yeah. No one would have guessed it, but they're doing it. Uh, but we, 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 said, we, no, we, we, we said the Champions League football. was the only one just saying they're going to win the title. Yeah, we yeah. said Champions League football. We said Champions League football. Yeah, yeah. You said Champions League Yeah, we all said Champions League football. So, But we still don't know. They're still missing that. They're still missing that. They're the ones that I said would get Champions League football. Hey, slow down. It's a marathon, not a sprint. It becomes a sprint really quickly before you know it. Before exactly. you know it, like, that is what they do to be before fair. Before you know it, like, oh, sure, we're picking the pace. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, next game. We go yeah. over to uh, Action Pack 2 2 Thriller, Sheffield United versus Everton. Shot Cameron team. Archer. You. Mm. I know I know we're not going to talk about FBR yeah, later, but this guy, yeah. Fair yeah, play got, to you. No, 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 Archer. you deserve, no, you deserve your praise. Because <laughs> no one saw that one coming. And yeah. What you did, yeah. good shot. I, I bought in Cameron Archer. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's a good player. Obviously, Aston Villa uh, didn't really play much yeah. uh, out there, but I, I knew he was highly rated, highly touted. Going to a club like Sheffield United, he's going to become their, instantly their main striker. Mm. Debut against Everton as well, the mm. weakest team in the league, in my opinion. Yeah. Weakest? So, Below Luton? Luton don't count. What? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derby County. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weakest team in the league, in my opinion. <laughs> it, it was like, for me, it was a guarantee Cameron Archer's going to yeah, yeah, yeah. debut as well. It's mm. you know. But yeah, mm. first game, goal and. And, uh, well, and they counted oh, an assist. Yeah, as and, and the own, obviously forced coach, own yeah, goal forced on Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but then obviously Everton, the Courier scored the f- uh, Everton's first yeah. goal of the season. Mm-hmm. Took them four games to score their first yeah, goal of the season, yeah, which yeah, is help, it helps my point saying they're not that great. Mm. Um, but yeah, what do we think of that game? Sheffield United are the only side to score against Man City in the Premier League this season as well, by the way. Mad. And oh. they're the only side to concede against Everton. So they're about... Uh, yeah, yo yo. Sometimes maybe uh, yin yang, yin yang. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have this for goals because obviously, like you said, Everton and they've brought in better, but their striking situation for the last couple of years has been abysmal. Moon I call him up front. I know he's gone now. Oh, that back guy back there, yeah. Listen, he he is not a striker. I don't know what he's doing up yeah. there. He needs to do a Joel Linton and move back. But <laughs> lunchtime kickoff, I saw this. I was like, this ain't really got goals in it. But then even after the two two, I said, okay, you guys have shown a little bit of something. But you actually needed to win the game. Both of you needed to win mm. this game. Yeah. I think a draw is just like both of them walk away thinking, hmm, where are we going to get a win? Like yeah. you needed mm. to, it's, it's very much where, where I look at Luton's fixtures yeah. when they come up and you play your Burnleys, when you play your Wolves, when you play the teams in and around you, I think that bottom five, like you said, there's a quality drop off. And when you play each other, if you don't pick up a win, six points, that's how you stay a up. Big yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to lie, it's a big problem. So I don't think that, that's a good result for either of them. I can't I think lie. For Everton, though, they can take hope of Dan Juma got his first goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's going to be a bright spark for them. But then. Him linking up with Beto. I'm yeah, that's the you. thing. The goals in midweek, yeah. I think, crucial for his confidence. Max. I think the performance as well. He was linking up play very mm. well as well. So I'm like, yo, 
those bottom five, six teams, you need that 10 to 12 goal a season yeah, striker. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Coming in, can you just come in and provide a little something? Him and Dan Juma, I believe between nah, I them, they can yeah. maybe just enough keep them up. Yeah. The Wobi was a big miss to let him go. And they, he was playing central midfield. That was the one thing Lampard did right with him last season. He had him in central midfield. Then Sean Dyche moving back out to the wing and had him mm. doing shifts. And I thought, wow. But I don't know. I feel like him, him losing that energy in there... And that yeah. ball carrying ability as well, I don't know. It's it's tough for them. Now I was saying with Dan Dreamer, you're just going off your point, I think his best qualities are on the wing. I think him playing in, in that in that sort of false nine nine sort of position, I, I think, don't they think they, had they, they didn't get the best out of yeah. it. And now that Beto's come in, Absolutely. and now he could go back into his natural position. Spot and now on. you can see that thing, uh, that, that little connection. Up. And Beto, I've never and I, I, I do not know of this guy at mm, all. Same. But from what I've seen from him already, <laughs> bro, he's midweek. Giving me, He's giving me Didier yeah, Drogba yeah. vibes out there. <laughs> the size. Oh, nee. Yeah, he's giving me that size. He's got the technique. Yeah. And you could tell, like, he's got he's gonna be a problem. Why are you laughing like That's that? That's meant to be Jackson. Uh, huh? it's, it's, meant to be, it's meant to be Jackson. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Or is it just there it's to just get the band think, back together? I think, I think it's more of a short term fix, isn't it? I think they just need another option. Just getting the band yeah. back together. So I thought I thought Ivan Tony at least comes back. But to if I, does Ivan Tony come back or with that new agent that January he's got? Is, is he gone. just going anyway? Like he's just. I'm not coming in, to trade. I'll be crazy. so surprised. Thanks for the speech at the end of the season. season. No, no, I feel, yeah, I feel, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be so surprised you if he left in January. You actually have Maybe in the summer, I hear it. Thomas Frank stood out in front of all them people with all them betting allegations and was like, yo, I'm going to back my man in front of the crowd. The least you can do is stay to the end of the season, bro. That's the least you can do. Can you imagine? That's the least you could do, man. <laughs> little gambling dude, bro. Stay to the end of the season, bro. Stay to the end of the season. Like. I knew something was coming. I knew it. I knew something was coming. Stay to the end I of the said, season, I was man. like, yo, come on. I said, I mean, you like, finished I it. Knew something and Wembo, though, started the season well. Hey, and Wembo, by the way, last week, yeah, I got a to pick with you, man. Last hey, week, hey, yeah. Hey, last hey. week. You're talking about your howlers. Yeah, no, they're, they're not howlers. Your howlers. They're not howlers. How can they be howlers? Jose Sarr and Goal. That's not howlers. That is not a howler. That is not a howler. <laughs> that is not oh, a howler. Okay. Listen, let me, let me give them context. Give them context. Context. Some context. people just watch the PR. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, now we'll, yeah, do, yeah, team, now we'll do an extra bonus video, yeah. midweek video, whatever. And the last week's one, if you haven't seen it, was our combined uh, 11 outside of the top seven because now we include the Newcastle to the top six. So you can't pick any players from the top seven teams, mm. which is the top six, uh, classic top six plus Newcastle. And uh, there's some positions where Lee Bound was the only one that was picking different players to everyone else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, one of them was... Enrico Henry, Henry. Henry. Everybody yeah. picks Emi Martinez. There was, uh, oh, everyone Jose picked Emi Martinez. He I picked Jose Sarr. Yeah. Everyone picked Estupian. Uh, he I picked Enrico Henry. Henry. Everyone picked, more or less, everyone picked Ivan Tony. And then, uh, I picked Watkins. Watkins, yeah. And then, and then, uh, and then, 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 and yeah, but e- every and then, 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 like, okay, you guys said Emmy Martin, I said Jose Sarr. What is really the difference in the game? Nah, nah, there's not there's much. No, no, no. Nah, Jose Sarr. I don't know about that one. No, 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 a lot of people are infatuated with that, but you can't tell me keeper for keeper. He's a way better keeper than Jose. That's impossible. He's better. You could, you could, yeah, I'd say, you could say maybe he's better. You can argue <laughs> that he's better, but to say that there's a gap is crazy. But anyway, that's not even a conversation. We'll leave that one out. <laughs> no, 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 no,
<laughs> the game, what about a Wisa, man? The, the game obviously <laughs> finished. The game obviously finished 2-2. Uh, uh, Brentford's open the uh, score with Jensen. Solanke equalised. And uh, big shout out for David Brooks. Yeah. Uh, almost obviously scored. Yeah, yeah. Would have been the winner. Yeah. It was the first goal since uh, announcing that he was cancer Cassie, free. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So a round of applause. Oh, round of applause. I love that. Good Tierra as well. A Newcastle yeah. way back yeah. when. Yeah. Beautiful I love moments. That. I love yeah. that. But and Burma ruined his moment and got the 93rd minute yeah. equaliser. Uh, Areola is still yet to get his first Premier League win for Bournemouth. And yeah. I even had Bournemouth as the team to... Wait. Yeah, the Areola, manager, the Areola. new, the oh. new, the new manager, new manager, team. Spanish, and and I had Bournemouth to like be the surprise team, but so far mm. they're not, they're not doing that. Yeah, they same. haven't got a win. I yet, had them to be relegated. I can't even cap. No. Really? really? I thought they done. All I that. mean, they, they concede, lost. They, they lost goals. to Liverpool mm. and Spurs, yeah. but apart from that, they've drawn the other two games. I just yeah. think they'll be too well coached, and they got too yeah. many options to be. No, no, obviously now, no, no, obviously no, no, I've seen the other teams. No, no, the other shocking teams. Now I'll change that, of course. But the only thing my problem with Bournemouth is they just. As good as they are going forward and the good football that they play, they just uh, concede too many goals, man. Yeah. Like, you know your team's scoring against Bournemouth. Is it like a Leeds for you? You it's know your team's scoring against Bournemouth. It's almost like that, not Leeds, Leeds but yeah. even Burnley to an extent, where yeah. it's like you're playing on the front foot, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you have a plan B as well. And yeah. I think having a new manager, having a lot of these new players who've come in, Max Aaron's, is it? Yeah. Back, uh, Kirk is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, listen, it's going to take a bit of time, I think. Yeah, yeah for sure, for two, sure. Two losses to two good teams and yeah. two draws. Mm. It's not the end of yeah, yeah for for way. Sure. we weren't expecting them to get none from there. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we've got some uh, correspondence. Mm. I from a Bournemouth fan, Keenan Brentford fan, Keenan Low. Uh, it's a definitely the most frustrating match of the season thus far. Brentford had numerous chances that should have been scored and dominated the second half until Rico Henry, who had been great all season. Mm -hmm. Brentford fan says. Mm -hmm. um, had an absolute howler. It was a howler. So that, that was a, it was a howler. I said, brother, you, you, I said, yeah. you're not helping me. I said, I said, I said, I said brother, you're not helping me here. Helping the cause. I said, when I saw that, I said, brother, you're not helping me you here, You tried man. to, uh, the yeah. one time, the one time I back you, you said, yeah. the one time you decided to make a mistake. Yeah. He said, Come on, nah. Brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. I can't believe you picked me, man. Let me give you the better fast right now. Even I would have picked a stupid hey, yeah, That's yeah, what he said. <laughs> you were that guy on YouTube yeah, yeah. that was like investing in Bitcoin. You were like investing yeah, in Bitcoin. Yeah. You put the YouTube video out, yeah. it was getting views, yeah. everybody was buying in, then yeah. he makes a mistake. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, crazy, but yeah, but crazy, Keenan, crazy. Keenan carries on by saying hey, it's <laughs> nice to still be unbeaten and good that we're getting some points from the first few matches, but it's getting to the point where some of these draws could and probably should have been wins. Mm. Pretty true. Uh moving on to the next game. I don't know why this game is pretty low down, to be fair, because it's a high-scoring game as well. 3-2 Palace against mm, Wolves. Yeah. Uh, all three of Wolves' Premier League goals this season have been scored by substitutes. Uh, Huang Hee Chan has scored two, and Khaled Zic has scored one. Um, Palace have won four consecutive Premier League home games against a single <laughs> opponent love. for the first time. What have I missed? No, 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 no. you go, you go. Okay, <laughs> so go, you, go. He, you said Kaladzic and he just started cracking up. Kaladzic, I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> um, but yeah, so 3-2 Palace against Wolves. Anyone get a chance to actually watch this game? It was clashing with imagine. Liverpool, Bro, so and yeah, I was I like, "Yo, I can only, I can only break the law so many pick. times." <laughs> I'm sorry, but who's purchasing the lead, the match rights to that? And listen, yeah, yeah, play, yeah. it ended three yeah. two. The goals were there. Eze, but I, I watched the first half. Mm. Mm. The amount of times I you kicked that ball for a goal kick, I said, <laughs> "Who who is paying for this?" <laughs> How is he still in the league here? Yeah, it's crazy. What secrets does Bro, he have on Steve Harris? His brother is playing week in week is out. Is that his name? You know, Watson, you, know, you know who his dad is? Mateta. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you know very well. You had him very high. Yeah, yeah, Billy, you that is? We have, we had him very high. last name. Yeah, he's, I didn't have him very what, high. Is he, is is he, he, really, he's he related to the guy that was at Swansea, right? That's what I'm saying. It's the name tag. It's the name tag. It's his father. Because he was good. Oh, Lord, man. I feel sorry for Palace fans, but listen. That's what I'm saying. His name should be IU, even good. Oh, yo. That's it. Done. No. You've had your dad name had enough now. I hate this guy, though. I hate this guy. That's enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I clocked it. I know. I clocked why he doesn't have play in his name. They said you can't have that one. Nah. <laughs> You're taking are you? <laughs> You're not taking Pele. Pele, that's good Pele, but he's, he's good are you? Like, um, they confiscated the turning point <laughs> when he was 14. <laughs> when he was 14. Let me, let me get some correspondence Wolves. from the fans that actually watched yeah. the game, and then mm. we'll speak about it a little bit. Uh, Austin CPFC, who's a Palace fan, says incredible instant impact from Mateta, who produces two assists to help us win the game. He also deserves high praise. Uh, we looked fantastic when he came on. He deserves a chance to start. A big shout out to Dakure today, who's also fantastic. And then probably not Ascend, who was a Wolves fan. Um, says about the goalkeeper, you had very highly, Jose Saar. Jose Saar wasn't as great as he was last time out. With, plays, poor man? Don't any <laughs> with poor distribution and poor goalkeeping in general, general, particularly during the third goal that we conceded. 
Overall, pretty lackluster performance. The players seemed out of it uh, after going 2-1 down. And this performance is worrying, mm. considering we have to play Liverpool after the international break. And I hope we can figure something out to get some points over the next three games. Wolves fans aren't happy. Palace fans It was are. an entertaining game, though. <laughs> that is the most important thing. Is that what the goalkeeper was meant to bring? Entertainment. Yeah, entertainment. <laughs> That's what it was, man. Sometimes you need that. It's it's true. True. Box office sometimes. You need it's box office true. elements, man. It's it's true. Free yeah. Come on, was, it, was it the first three games? They had like, what was it? 37 shots yeah. or something yeah. like yeah. that. So it was like, yeah. bro, something's got to come through eventually. And, and they then. got robbed at Old Trafford as well. Should I have a point? Like, yeah. Well, at least an opportunity to get a point. Or something at least. Yeah. Game. And then we need to get our points today. Oh, okay. Charge it, charge it, charge it, man. <laughs> charge it, charge it. No sympathy charge whatsoever, it, man. Hey, man. Charge man. it, man. He's devil worshipping yeah. brothers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You saw the promo. Man, it's crazy. Yeah. 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 You should have seen what he said. And he was gonna talk about uh, what did you wear your top? What did he say? What did he say? He was gonna wear your top. Let me not talk about your club, though. Let's move on to the last game of the game week. Kenilworth Road. Finally saw the Premier League. Mm. Mm. The yes. stadium that was used in non-league football mm -hmm. yep. 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Made it to the Premier League. That is insane. Mm -hmm. um, but they lost 2-1 mm -hmm. to West Ham. <laughs> no, not surprised. They got a goal though. They, they did. got their first Premier League goal. Yeah, I watched it. It was a very championship goal. It Consolation was. Championship. Yeah. Header. yeah. Like long ball up top, knocked down. It was very like, you know that late show that used to come on after match of the day? The one where you'd be yes. falling asleep. The Football League yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of those ones. Yeah, League One. one. Yeah. Asian yeah, Manish. Yeah, Manish. Yeah, that's it. League One. Yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah, getting yeah, a bit, yeah. you're rubbing your, the crust out of your eyes. Uh, you're starting yeah, to get yeah. tired and letting Orient score a goal like that. That's what it was. You it just was. wake up in the middle of the night and you just hear his voice. Yeah, you've, got, you've got to turn the TV off. You're like, oh shit. And next you're watching Yorkville Gillingham. Town versus yeah. Grimsey Town. Yeah. You're freaking. Shit, I was going to die at night. You know him. I was going to leave the house at night. We've all had those words, man. We've all had those words. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, Luton obviously got their first Premier League goal, their yeah. first time playing in their stadium. Uh they found out what VAR was because uh, they were robbed of maybe robbed of a penalty in the last few minutes. Mm. Could have been what a handball. Yeah, it's a mm. hand. It's, mm. It was up, like it was in an unnaturalish mm. position. I think they had a they had a call there. But um, West Ham, man, what a start to the season yeah. as well. Three games in a row. First time they've done that, uh, yeah. win three games in a row was yeah. January, December 2021 yeah. to January 2022. Are we mm. ready to, as a three podcast, wins, as a collective, to apologise to David Moyes? Oh, we need to. I think I we didn't, need to. I didn't slide, I, I'm man. saying, we, I think Conference we need to. Well, I didn't really start them too tough, to be honest. Yeah. But, but, I agreed, I, but I agreed with what the man was saying. So I think we need to do like a collective um, uh, statement, like together, like a group one. Are you open up then? And then we'll put it on the SDS page right. and we'll just at <laughs> David Moyes and be like, oh, okay. we, we apologize mm -hmm. for the statements that were made on this. Uh, you on start this off then. No, no, no. We'll, we'll actually do a written one. Oh, a written one. Written, written oh, one. Okay. And then we all sign it. We all sign it. And then we put. I don't think so. Already four games in. I don't think so. We're going to have to. We're going to We're going to have to. Because even the signing. That you're about to give him credit for, he didn't even want those. It, it, no, but it's not even about the signings. Do you know what it is? It's the fact that he wanted we, McTominay. We, we were criticizing yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Maguire. Maguire. Yeah. That's yeah. who he wanted. Yeah. He wanted yeah, yeah. to kick yeah. it back. Yeah. And then they gave him Alvarez. And they said, no, no, no. He was like, I can't pronounce that. Goodness, like, no, no, you won't. Me. You must. No, but, no, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> listen, I give him his credit. to give him credit. Damn, I was happy with Suchek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. He wanted Suchek and McTominay. He didn't want no ball retention. No, I was saying James Will Brass is the most West Ham player I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's sure. already for me just like he's like not Perfect. noble yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like he's, and he's assists the set pieces that love in his Zuma, yeah, yeah. Sure. wow it, it, just, it makes sense I just seen him there it just looks yeah, 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 makes yeah, yeah, sense yeah, yeah. it's like why was he at Southampton all this time he should have yeah. been at West Ham West Ham yeah, 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 when, sure. oh, it's crazy it was, it was insane but, yeah, yeah. but yeah listen uh, they got the away win um, obviously Jared Byrne opened the scoring um, what else okay we've got 55 Hems who's a West Ham fan he said as expected, it wasn't going to be an easy as game as we thought it would be on paper. Luton Town's first Prem home game was always going to be a difficult one. I agree. It was like mm. Brentford at home, the first game in yeah, the yeah, league yeah, they beat yeah, us. Guess, yeah, I, yeah. It's always like, it's a magical thing, you know. So it was good for West Ham to get the win. It would have been beautiful for Luton yeah, to win. Luton, it's like yeah, everyone yeah. wanted Luton to get that yeah. result. When you guys uh, think Luton would get their first win? You want to see a record, uh, record I've points. said that. I said in November. I don't, Robbie Savage I don't season. want to see it. What yeah. month? I said, I said, I said, <laughs> what, what month will Luton <laughs> get their first win? I said October, November. For their first win? I'm going, f I'm going February. No, I'll be nice. I'll go October. February. <laughs> Feb. That's not, that's Feb. bad. Oh my God. Do you know the fixtures? Do you know the game? Feb. Who are they playing? Do you know? No. No, you, you're just, you're I'm, just. You know what? Just because who, of that. I'm who are they going to win? You're on violence. 
No. I said the first one to come wow. against Tottenham. That happened. Oh, this guy predicted Tottenham insane. to win the league. I ain't worried. <laughs> 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 you got worried about your predictions. Yeah, I'll say it right now. <laughs> to win against Tottenham. Yeah. To win against Tottenham. No, they're Tottenham. struggling. They That's will, my prediction right now. It could, it it could be very long for them. And then, and then you if will be here no matter what. Do you remember the Do you remember how bad that Derby County was? I'll be right. You'll be right. What did they play Tottenham? I'm checking who they're playing in Feb. Is it if it's in Feb? They got Spurs in Feb. You've had one. I don't even know if you do. Yeah, yeah, no. oh, I don't know no. if you do, but it sounds good. Who's at home? Yeah. It sounds good. Imagine. I don't know if you do, but it sounded nice. Who's at home? It's too long to check, man. Imagine, imagine. It's too long to check, imagine. man. Yeah. It's too long to check, uh, man. Check their fixtures, man. I hope they got Spurs, though. Right. They got, they got some good November, games November, coming November. up, though, I think. February, so, they got Newcastle, Sheffield United. There you go. Sheffield United at home. That's what I'm yeah. after. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm bookmarking. And then after that, they got Man United at home. So I'm they don't get the Sheffield. Yeah. Who did they have, did they have, they have in November? Who did they have in November? <coughs> November. Smart, they got United. <laughs> yeah. Palace. Liverpool. Ooh. Yeah, that ain't easy. United Palace. Liverpool, it's never yeah. easy, oh, man. Okay. Nah, it's not it's never easy. Which one do you think they're going to win? Huh? When do they play Spurs? October. Yeah. Which day? Which day? 7th of October. Who's at home? Who's at home? That's the day. Who's at home? Mark it in your calendars, lads. But, uh, look. Hey, okay. hey, Vandem, mark it in your calendars. Every Spurs 7th fight. of October is when they get their first win. Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait. And I it's going to be against their team. I'm going to clip that. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> uh, but finishing off uh, the five Hems' uh, correspondence, he said, the Zuma goal summed up an amazing game for him. Zuma and Paqueta yeah. were both minor matches for me. Zuma was a brick wall and Paqueta was Paqueta. <laughs> also, after last week's Premier League roundup, I would also like to state that Elias is a bum. Two, for that Antonio disrespect, not as much of a bum as star player, though. Wow. I agree. Good. I agree with the I star player a bit. Antonio's sure. disrespected. I think he's a very good player. Yeah. I think he's a very good player. I'm honestly, I'm not even bad. I think he's, he's a good he's player. He's the top Premier League goal scorer, yeah. right? Ever. Yeah. And and I think he's uh I agree they do still need another front man. They do, yeah. But for what he provides, there's not a lot of strikers that can provide that. I reckon Bowen will do that this yeah. year. Bowen will slowly transform into a striker. Yeah, he could. I can see that so. happening. I can see it. Yeah. He's like got an emblem coming he's got inside. Movement. Yeah. Met Kudus has got yeah, a couple of nasty. Yeah, I disagree with it. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Why disagree with it? Why disagree with it? <laughs> no, no, you can't disagree with it. You're right, though. Yeah, yeah, you are right. Yeah, right. Someone who can play out yeah. wide, someone who can play through the middle. Yeah, come on, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kudus is still to come into this team. He's going to bring goals as well. Yes. He got a little three minute cameo. He's a goal scorer. And listen, we saw him on the podcast. Told Skamaka, listen. David Moyes boy is not for you. Yeah. I'll handle it. You go back to Italy. So it's crazy. But it's it's some of his finishing has been nuts. The one against us, the one against Brighton. Yeah, he's he's got to get his respect. I can't wait till he plays Spurs. Bring it, Charlison handshake. Cool. Richarlison, where Richarlison is going to be, be on bench. the bench. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. you're going to do with Romero. <laughs> That's yeah. Fuck you. This dog was stuck. Yeah. Antonio's yeah. stronger than Romero. That's cool. That's what they said last year. Go watch the tapes. <laughs> You're confident now. Yeah, yeah. But damn. But didn't he score against you guys? Calm. One nil. He got <laughs> bullied in the corner. I remember the 50-50. <laughs> yeah. He got he on the way. against you guys. One nil. But that is the end of the Premier League roundup. Uh, to finish off, we're going to talk about our FPL leagues quickly. And I love to say this. And the SDS it's league updated, yeah. with all the members of the podcast and uh, staff. Guess who's still first, baby? No. Mr. Sharky. Still first, top of the league. 11 points clear of a second, by the way. Uh, and that is Faisal, who is in second place. You can see on the screen right now, uh, all the FPL members. Let's see where you guys are. Libas moved, Libas moved down to fourth. All right. Oh, shit. Fuad's moved down to ninth. You both have downward arrows. Oh, wow. Fuizzi's in third. Give him respect, guys. <laughs> Fuizzi's in third. Uh, who is in third? I I I don't do FPL. I don't do FPL. I'm I'm I, I hate the rivals too much. I agree. No, no, it, it brings out tough bad things. Man. Yeah, it, it does, man. You can't be wishing on people to it's, do. To it, be yeah, yeah, well. no, it's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Ooh, it's terrible. You, you put up quite a good gap now. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got twenty points. I've got yeah. eleven. On me, on me. On oh, on you, I'm man. I'm second. Yeah, yeah. I've got a gap on you. Come on, man. It's not a great week, but remember, this is a Liban is yeah, but Liban yeah, but Liban uses bench boost game week one. Yeah, and, and he just card. uses wild card now. So my wild card is, trust me, four, give it the next four or five game weeks, you'll see why. <laughs> the wild card disappears. He just put Evan Ferguson uh, on. You will see my team. If Mbwemo is not in that team. The way I've built oh, my he's team. Oh, he's a wild card to change the whole team? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah. But uh, let's worry, go man. over don't to worry, the- It's a marathon. Go over to the SDS League now with all of you guys involved. And I'm not going to lie, this is insane. I'm in the top 200. Ooh. That is crazy. By the way, we've got over ten th tens of thousands of people in here. That's crazy. Where are you? Fuad's in 5,026 no, place. How many people in this bro. league? 
No, that's DL Sports. <laughs> you tried it. In nice. the SDS nice league, try. I'm in 194th place. That is Yo, insane. That's not bad, I can't lie. Bro, look at all my leagues. Ooh, how many down, in total? I went down to 2,000, man. Bro, how are you the top of so many leagues? I'm going crazy so far. Yeah, you're doing right. total, There's you one with your favorite rapper in there as well. Oh, yo. Yeah, Do you yeah, remember I'm Stormzy. To I'm calling you out, Storms. I'm, bro, I'm first I, in that league as well. I don't want to zip it out, but... Hey, Do you, you guys remember to pick your teams throughout the season, though? Does it get no, sticky? No, no, I've never completed the season, but now, because I'm doing yeah, well, that's and I've got right now, because I'm in the league with FPL Raptor, who's a FPL YouTuber, Stormzy, Chunks, and Harry Panero, and FPL Raptor tweets and talks about our league on YouTube, I have to- I have Is he to winning the league, up. Raptor? I'm top What's right now. Oh, you're top of that league? Yeah, yeah, I'm He's top of Over the leagues. expert. I'm top of almost every league I'm in. Damn. Yeah. FPL Raptor. FPL Raptor, yeah. yeah and the focus. SDS league, I'm in 194th place. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're gonna- I'm gonna be tips. on the inside yeah, scuba zone now, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> quick shout out to the top 10 uh, of that league right mm. now. In first place, uh, Dexter Slocum. His team name is Cheesy Garnachos. Uh, he just uses triple captain in Haaland, 60 points, insane. Wow. Wild card wow. last week, free oh, hit the week pumped. before that. And bench hey, <laughs> game week one, he's bench boost. Game week two, free hit. Game week three, wild card. Game week four, triple captain. And it's worked for him. It's worked so far. Uh, but he's used them all. Uh, second mm. place, Netflix and Chilwell. Alex Grono. Uh, third, you've got Mohamed Ibrahim, team name champion 24. Uh, in fourth, Doom 9. In fifth, Haroon Abdinor with his team Smooth Criminal. Joint fifth, No Kane, No Gain, Jacob Myers. In seventh, we have Jordan Sherman, Sher's Sherm Squad. In eighth, Faizan Habib with class on grass. In ninth, Joshua Robinson, New Stilo. And in tenth, Omar Al Mula with the team name Pep Roulette. That is a top ten right mm -hmm. now. They all have so over three hundred points. Great puns in this field, man. Everybody yeah. dibs, digs, and digs. They all have over like three hundred points yeah, right now. That is how the league is looking. If you want to join, you can join at any point. We already have like another fifteen people trying to join. Uh, this uh, the league code is in the description below. There's, I think, I don't even know how many there is now. Probably like almost 15,000 people. So I'm guessing right. I'm in the top 200. That's yeah. actually mad. Yeah, that's crazy. It's, it's no, no, but you're doing, you smash it this week. I'm doing, I'm, 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 doing, I'm doing really well. Even in the world right now, I'm in top 55K. Yeah, that's crazy. There's that's 11 nuts. million users. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I'm top crazy. 55K. And, and 10 million of them have Harlem. It's crazy. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's what it also It's was insane. Like. But <laughs> it really comes down to your other picks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we'll see you guys very soon for another video. I won't be here for the next video, but I'll be here for the next Premier League Roundup. So... I'll be hosting. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see who'll be hosting. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> attach the break. Oh, but I'll be back next week anyways. I'll be back next week. But I'm, I'm going away to New York to watch the US Open tennis. Bye-bye.